Hello, we are in Memphis, Tennessee, where it is the first snow of 2024, the first snowfall, and it is 18 degrees out here, 18 degrees. Got the lips trembling, got the eyelashes frosty like these lips, got the teeth nice and golden, <laughs> looking like a mystery of love from the skies above. If you are in Memphis, Tennessee, stay warm, stay warm, keep that water dripping. Like this body is dripping. Like these lips is drinking full of glory and necessities. And these eyelashes is lit with flurries of snow. That's the only thing you need to know. If you are in Memphis, Tennessee, it is super chilly. Chilly like me. Cold. And mysterious. You have any children? Yes, I have four. How old are your four kids? Uh, so the first one is 24. She's a girl. Three boys, 22, 18, and 12. 12. All about the same man? No. How many men? Four. You have four, four kids by four men? Yes. Have you ever been married? No. Here we go. Bumble clock. All right. Boop, boop, boop. She got... She went up in there three, four times. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the baby up in me, you feel me? 43 and four for four. To see us together, but it don't matter, no. Oh, no, we gon' fight. Oh, yes, we gon' fight. Fight for our love together. Nobody wants to see us together, but it don't matter, no. Cause I got you, and you got me too. I love you, boo. Sanisha, 44, do you have any kids, honey? I do. How many kids? I have five. Okay, how old are your kids? The oldest just turned 27 today. The youngest is 17. Honey, all five ages, Tanisha, honey. 27, 24, 18, 17, and 15. Well, uh -oh. She ain't got no job, and she got five kids. She look for a man. Yeah. Who is in right mind? Kendra said, are you, in, Kendra don't understand the, how silly that question is. Are you in position to date? Well, Christian wanted to say, I'm in the best position to date. I ain't got no job. Somebody need to come in here and help me. Don't you love when I come around? What do you say? Build you up, then I'll take you down. I have five. Uh oh, let's get to how old are these five kids, girl? 20, 17, 13, 7, and 3. All by the same man? Absolutely not. What? Why are we having kids by the same man? Absolutely nothing. We just don't, absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, that, that just was not uh, what panned out for for me and okay, the choices that happened at the time. Five. Girl, now I'm, now I'm I know Kendra. Go ahead, I'm go ahead, go ahead. I'm again. I know. 
First, why you not with the three-year-old dad? Uh, because Kendra, he was married, unbeknownst to me. What are we doing? Are we gonna do this? You 40 years old with a young child, your last baby father, the fifth of the five. She five for five, if y'all didn't hear her. Five for five. And she said the fifth baby daddy was married. Your face will be the reason I smile And I will not see what I can have forever And that's no residue And then you will remain Oh, you play me dirty You play me so bad You talk with my emotions And I started smoking crack And then you ran from me Blame it like the dad, boo. Away from me. How many kids do you have, Jasmine? I have six. Six kids. How old are your kids, Jasmine? Um, Age range from 14 to... Oh, give me all the ages. Um, 14, 12, 10, 6, 4-year-old Christmas Eve, and a 1-year-old December 16th. Okay. Jasmine, how old are you? 32. 32. Are they all by the same man? No. How many men? Five. Five. So why are you not with the 1-year-old dad? Ooh. Uh, wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, man. What the hell is we doing? <laughs> Here we go. Quick draw bone quisha. I ain't I ain't never seen bone quisha be so rapid fire with the excuses. Oh. Hey, black man, I love you. I appreciate you. I adore you. Ain't nothing better than a black man to be in this world. If you're a black man, you're a king. You will always be a king. Woo wee. Let's do it all day long. I want to see that. Because we about to go out there and do what they want. They give me my theme music. <laughs> We told you we coming. We told you we coming. You thought we was joking. And guess what? We keep receipts. God bless you, America. Ooh, God is good. It's time! Let's get it on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Live Sunday night, single by choices. Brought to you by Cart Before the Horse Productions. We in the building. How you feeling, Mr. Walker? Yes, sir. I am feeling fan freaking tastic per usual. Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, El Nug Nugs and Le Bon Quishas. Welcome to Cart Before the Horse Single by Choices in affiliation with the Bougie Negro Podcast. And also, as all you Negroes know, in association with Ain't No Fun 
What's the rabbits got the gun entertainment? What's going on with you this fine Sunday? In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? Shout out to Big Dom, all right, in the house. Uh, shout out to all y'all in the chat. We see y'all. We back like we never left, as we always <laughs> say on Sundays. Did we leave? Huh? Where we going? I, I don't remember ever leaving the studio. <laughs> Man, your last night show uh, over on Carpet for the Horse, Regal Rumble, we were cooking. So oh, yeah. if you missed that, I'm dropping. A lot of people don't know. Some of y'all still don't know we have two channels. So there's the link. We were cooking last night. Who the F married this woman? Huh. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, big, big, uh, messy, messy Tessie up here on Beyonce's internet, you know, crying gravy all over the place talking about who did she marry? Well, we got, well, our question was who in the world and they, using their common sense, married you? So, that part. So, if you missed that last night, there's the link in the chat. Make sure y'all um, subscribe to the Cart Before the Horse channel. And I see y'all starting already. Shout oh. out to Frederick Howard. He come through, says, Fanny Willis Fupa looks like Thanos' chin. Man. Don't put that on Big Thanos. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have yet to touch on that whole Fanny situation. It's a lot. It, that's a lot. Like you said, I want to come up here and talk about something I don't know about. So there you, you got you to gotta keep up with that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't know nothing about it either. I just know, supposedly she ain't worth a dang. So yeah, shout out to like uh, lead attorney and them. They be over there cooking on her. So. <laughs> Fanny, yeah, that's politics, huh? <laughs> yeah, like you said, it it delves into the realm of mating and dating because they're you know, but it's a little bold. It's, it's just hunching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she hunching, sleeping with uh, married men and stuff. So <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to my guy G Honda. He says <laughs> all for the grill, glaze strike, Mister Walker gas gas money. <laughs> G Honda. <laughs> Shout out to Divide Photos. Gifted one channel membership. We appreciate you. All right. Jihad to come back. Yes, we can't start off a show without Jihad. Yeah. This, this, this is just as much as part of the show as the intro. Folks. Yeah, <laughs> so he come through. He says, Mr. Walker Prius starting go find me and for new sub. New sub. For some new hubs. Some new, uh, some new hubcaps for the Prius. There you go. Back, you well, you want to play this game? Here we go, Jihanda. Back when the Prius first came out, it did have some ugly wheels. <laughs> some ugly wheels. So if if I were to ever buy a Prius, I would probably change the hubcaps, Jihanda. There you go. That was that chauffeur in uh, Mucho Round. What's this? Driving, driving Miss Mucho. Y'all ever see that movie, Driving Miss Daisy? Driving Miss Mucho. In this mm -hmm. movie, I promise you, Mucho don't make it to the end of the movie. I promise you. <laughs> Uh, shout out to G Honda. He come back again. Uh, Mr. Walker, I need these 8 a.m. sharp. Goons waiting. All Don't right. pair me with a good time, G Honda. They can keep waiting. That's fine. <laughs> and what's the king to a god? Been the channel member for five months. Says salute single by choices and chat. Oh man. Oh my. <laughs> I see G Honda. Bioluminescent gear never drop. What up? What up? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Come on now, we here. We putting on the show. So yeah, like Mister Walker told y'all the other day, y'all we be over delivering. We appreciate. We flattered. We're flattered. Someday, don't, don't trip. Someday, a hey, stick around for the next upcoming years, and it's gonna come a time where y'all oh, buy a luminescence drop, oh whatever drop, and we can buy. All right, go ahead, hit the thing, and it's gonna be a process. So don't don't fret. There you go. In the meantime, head over and get you some Fosachi gear. I ain't see your name over there, G. G Honda. I ain't see you in the email. So let's start here. Let's start here. And then we can work our way to bioluminescence. There you go. That part, Ninja. I'll tell you, like I tell, tell my kids, appreciate what we got. All right. Don't be looking at other people's stuff. Tell them, oh, I wish I had that. Just appreciate. We let's be grateful. Times is hard. Let's be grateful for what we do have instead of worry about what we don't have. G Honda. <laughs> there we go. Appreciate the super chat. Yes. Shout out to Frederick Howard. Says Texas in every way, and I'm out. Shout out to my guy Les. May we get some sign of sponsorship? I have to reach out to my guy. 
we might start off every show busting down on the uh oxtail or so you know what i mean Heck yeah. awesome. i'll chew on some red meat for the for you know what i mean yeah for a little bit yeah, we gotta talk turkey we gotta talk turkey less for sure, for all sure. right <laughs> shout out to el paulino gifted a channel membership and she come back with a super sticker <laughs> Tell you what, gotta gotta shine the light on it. El Paulino gifts at least at least one membership every single show. That is extremely significant. Seems like a little gesture, but it is huge. We appreciate you, El Paulino. Thank you, sister. There you go. Definitely appreciate it. It goes a long way. Um, actually, in honor of that, we gonna follow behind you with five more El Paulino. So, shout out to the channel. Shout out to the beast. The beast, Shot Stanton, Rashad, Megan, and Mike Rule 5. So, the beast, beast, young Marine. You ain't have no membership, brother. That's all right. You got one now. Now, as we say, whenever those no cost memberships expire, don't hesitate. Show your appreciation to the sponsors and re up on your membership. That part. There we go. And shout out to Polar Bear 65 says, Ask Jimi Hendrix with ass, are you experienced? Shout out to Agent 65. <laughs> All right. And like I said, we gifted y'all five memberships. So <laughs> shout out to the best chat on YouTube. We appreciate y'all. Trying to tell you. So we're going to get into it. This is why we're here. Kendra Madness. We back. All right. <laughs> I think I don't know. Let's it's Sunday. Why can't we just take it easy, have a good time tonight? No madness. Just have a good time and try to what what are you try to, talking about? Try to make some matchmaking, try to actually make some couples tonight. Yeah, you know? The F is you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> huh? We is making matches. We doing all that. We matching them up. It's just like you know, you matching, you know, rotten fruit with rotten fruit, you know, duty with duty, you know. <laughs> All that. What do they call them? What do they call the cow poop? Uh sub there pass. You go. <laughs> we'll see. We're gonna bring out a lot. We're gonna bring out the baby mamas. All right, with the stepfathers potential. If you got it in you, obviously, right? Or some of y'all just like hell to no. So I get it. <laughs> the matchmaker. We we mate we matching up makes just like socks up here. And they all funky. <laughs> there you go. So I'm going to pull this first sister up. Make sure y'all hit the like button as y'all coming in. See what stream y'all are. I feel like my internet been internetting today, so we'll see what's going on here. My camera foggy, man. My camera always foggy. What's going on? So here we go. Hit the like button as y'all coming in. And I see Rachel. Yeah, you did money. <laughs> Gotta get that money, oh, money, and I'm going to get it, <laughs> and it won't stop, and it don't stop, and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Rachai Media, come through with 10 channel memberships. I see a bunch of y'all just got uh, memberships. Make sure y'all go on ahead and thank Rachai as y'all come into the room. Also, make sure y'all hitting the like button. I see we got 99 likes and about 250 people in here. So hit the like button. Let's do that before we do anything. Get the likes up. You muted up. Can't hear you. But yeah, make sure y'all get the likes up, folks. Yeah, what I was saying was, what's wrong with you, Ninja? Just not hitting the like button. <laughs> Yeah, a bunch of y'all. Take a second. I know. I know y'all got all excited, but hit the like button. We're going to bring this first sister out. We're going to get right into it. There we go. Hello? Hi. Hi. What's her name? Michaela. 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 Yes. Where are you calling me from? Atlanta. Michaela. ATL, how old are you? I am 27. 27. What do you do for a living? I am a chef and a performing arts dancer. 
Chef and performing arts dancer. Okay, what's your zodiac sign? Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah, you gotta say performing arts dancer because you just say dancer on my show, they going to <laughs> You got to be, you got to specify performing arts dancer. We got it. Michaela Atlanta, 27, chef, performing arts dancer. What's your zodiac sign? Um, zodiac sign is Aquarius. Aquarius. All right, Michaela, you have any children? Yes, I have two. Two kids. How old are your two kids? My daughter is four and my son is seven. Okay, both by the same man? Two different. Okay. Men. Why are you not with the four-year-old dad? Uh, he's military, and we had irreconcilable differences. Um, we left off on good terms. We just like, I love you enough to let you go. Love you <laughs> and enough find to let someone. You go. Yes. Okay. Do you have? Um, have you ever been married? No, just engaged. Just engaged. All right. So. Here we go. And she gonna say irreconcilable differences. I thought that was only if you was married. Correct me if I'm wrong. Kendra said, was you married? She said, no. <laughs> two for two. Just, just, just engaged. This, this is really sad. Believe me when I tell you, you know, we all but laugh through the tears. It's crazy. This is the came up first initial presentation. Like a like a Dodge product, the initial the initial quality is high, and then they start talking, and it's just like, oh, you got kids? Ooh, how many baby daddies? Two, golly! And then you talking about y'all broke it up on irreconcilable differences, and y'all weren't even married. The first forty eight seconds continued to be undefeated. When she was speaking, everybody was like, okay, everybody sitting there with their hands crossed, like, what do we have here? And then she started talking. I said, oh. <laughs> that fast. So here we go. We're going to let her cook. We got some cash apps here. Um, shout out to Mick. Come through in the cash app. Said just supporting the show. Also. I ain't got no time to play. I'm just going to make that goddamn money and keep it moving. You hear me? Just stack. Just stack. Just stack. Just stack. And stack. And stack. You hear me? Shout out to my guy, Natty Leo. Come through with $40. He said, just support my interest and Mr. Walker's Prius. Just kidding. <laughs> we appreciate you. It's, listen, it's powering y'all words. Y'all got to stop. Because y'all going to mess around and end up with a Prius. And I don't want no Prius. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> so there you go, Natty Leo. Like you said, just supporting, but you are the show sponsor right now. We're going to let this two for two keep cooking. Uh, shout out to Lisa Morrison with the $5 super sticker. Money, 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 money. But it's over this fast. In Atlanta, like you said, a decent looking sister coming on the screen. Understand, ladies, how y'all destroy y'all chances. I mean, she going to say, why you leave this man? You was already a baby mama. You can't afford, you can't afford this, these mistakes. They, they, they'll say, did you ever, was you ever married? Please stop this. No, but I, but however, I was engaged for, for 48 hours. And then we then within that 48 hours, we developed irreconcilable differences and we grew to part. <laughs> So at absolute best, at absolute best, she's just she's gonna be three for three out here playing around. Then where we at? So there y'all go. She see that's why I have my hopes up. I'm a fan of the old singer Sade. And there you go, Game Glot and Agent 65. She do she kind of got a little she a little Sade esque, you know, skin tone. She got her hair plastered real tight to her scalp. But then she started talking. Extraordinarily unfortunate. Here we go. So we got Michaela Atlanta, 27 Aquarius, is a chef, performing arts dancer, mine of two kids, four and seven. What kind of man are you looking for, babe? I am looking for a trustworthy man who loves God, um, who is a good communicator, and um, he's faithful in the relationship. I, I don't want much, but I feel like Communication is really big. Okay. Um, what are your deal breakers? 
A liar, horrible communicator, and someone that doesn't like kids. Like, that's really big for me because I have kids. Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? No, I'm open to any race. Okay. Now, do you want more children? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's one of the things I have to compromise because I, I feel like if I want a husband, he's going to ask me for a kid. So I'm like, I'll compromise with that. <laughs> Are you okay if he already has children? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, money. Should he make a certain amount of money? As long as he has a job and he can provide for himself, I am. Um, that's fine. I don't, I'm not with the, you need to make a lot of money type of thing. But okay. As long as he has a job. As long as he has a job. Should he be in Atlanta? Yes. Um, he could be in Atlanta and he could be other places, but I, I prefer like a little close, like Florida, maybe Texas um, and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do the kids or cam. Okay. <laughs> okay, we see you, Michaela. So here we are, huh? Hell! Big Mama, two for two. <sighs> Let's play devil's advocate. Man, devil's we did advocate. this in a while. Tail. <laughs> Let's bring him in the room. Let's bring him in the room, folks. Mr. 40 Hours. Is this a Mr. 40 Hours special right here? Is this somebody? Can he come in and feel like he might have, you know, I don't know. I want to say yes. Yes, indeed. And here's why. Let's touch on it. Yeah, yeah. We talked about Sade. We need to watch our mouth. No Sade here. Sh oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah this Sade's yeah. big sister. <laughs> our apologies, the great legend Sade Adu. This is not you. But anywho, yes, this is a Mr. 40 Hour special. And the reason being is she didn't come off combative or aggressive. Yeah, she two for the two. But she said, she said, you know what? I know the next guy coming in going on the kid. And that's using her common sense. You should. It, you are a little bit crazy to think a guy was going to come in and be a provider stepfather and you don't even give him a child of his own. you really asking a lot. Unless Mr. 40 Hours is one of these brothers that have the unfortunate condition where, you know, they shooting blanks. Now, you see what I'm saying? You, we got to weigh these things in because these matter. So if you got this cool Mr. 40 Hours, he's like, I can't have kids. But you got two. I would imagine a man would be open to that in that instance. So, yes, Mr. 40 Hour Special, a friend center here. Yeah, so it's over. So, the, you know, the net net of it, this woman, <laughs> she got a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. And before them two kids, obviously, that baby weight done did some on her. So she go back to when she was maybe 19. And that man at 19 got the freshest squeeze. I bet she was fit. He got the freshest squeeze for absolutely nothing. Nug nug. And now you got to deal with this. Yeah. Listen here. There's no excuse for the level of unfitness that's going on nowadays. The alarm has been sounded. You, this, uh, this is not acceptable, especially when you out here on the open dating market looking to bring somebody new into your life and you're two for the two. And, and at 27. Hell. 27, two kids. And she's blowed out. She is. That is pure undiscipline. I'm going on a limb to say that if she was actually halfway into a gym, she would be all right. But that's just, that's straight, straight negligence right there. See what I'm saying? Okay, we see you, Michaela. Ooh, turn around on them. <laughs> <laughs> turn around on them. Yeah, she very much given, again, that, that, that one, body that, that bodysuit. It ain't that bodysuit was the worst decision she could have made. That's She could have came up here, teachable moment. She could have came up here with something else on other than that. She busting out of everything. Look at the sister. Just roll. She might as well be new. My goodness. This is bad. So there we go. Shout out to uh, y, -S, uh, y Skinner. Why Skinner Man Cave come through says Kendra has a leftover woman dating show. Yeah. Tuh. Listen here. I don't know about leftover seem that way, but this is this is it. This is the selection. Uh -huh. 
And shout out to who's the master. He says, hey, single about choices. Pig in the blanket, reasonable demands, though. Uh, that's why I said, I don't know if she was saying, but that's why I brought Mr. 40 out. So I said, at best. <laughs> yeah, at absolute best. Like I said, the stipulations, maybe he's infertile. He's shooting blanks. And, you know, he just, she applied enough pressure to his self to get what she wants. Good luck. That's all. <laughs> or not. Like I said, could, he just, Mr. 40, his brother might be 45 plus. And he ain't, he ain't reached his ceiling. He probably had a couple kids himself. He went in with a 27 year old woman. There you go. They're going to make it work. <laughs> Depending on his situation. There you go. <laughs> I don't recommend it, but if that's. See, the she, case. the fact that we were considering it, we ain't throwing garbage to Mr. 40 Hours. She's not, she's not brutish. She two for two, baby mama. That she is indeed. That's unfortunate. But she ain't brutish and aggressive. So maybe, maybe she's workable. <laughs> And that's the message, though. That's the message to us men. We always got to be on our square presenting our best selves. We can't be out here, blowed out, presenting our worst selves, non-resourceful, but demanding supermodels. We ain't. We don't do that over here. There you go. That part. <laughs> so, shout out to Ganglot. He says, how is she a dancer with that body? I'm confused. Oh! I forgot about that. Yeah, she a performance art dancer. And yeah, that's why we done had a couple of them up here blowed out dances. And one lady was twirling, yeah, they be twirling her. You'd be like, how y'all dance, but don't go to the gym? It makes no sense. Respect the arts. That's all I'm saying. Can't you can't be no overweight ballerina, and it's the reason why it simply don't work. Do y'all not understand certain things overweight people can't do, like hang glide. Should be scared. Not in 2024. Hell, they're gonna tell you to hold their beer. I would say they done broke every barrier. They out here, hell. Hey, honestly, uh, the alphabets, the, the blowed out folks, they do whatever they want. That's true. Let me watch my mouth. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Real talk. So shout out to Gihanda. He says two for two, greasy forehead. Live in that live in Atlanta, built like melted ice cream. Don mm. Jeter and Atlanta hold this L up. Is this camera on me? Yeah, this a lot. John. This woman here, she in bad shape, you know. Hmm. Oh, I listen here. The fact that she says she's a performing arts person, <laughs> dancer, and then she stood up presenting this. I'm gonna say she she. I'm going to take it as a lie. I don't like it. I was expecting her to be a fit woman and have a chance out here, but she blowed out at 27, two for two. It's old <laughs> submarine work. <laughs> Man, and I see Desi Boy come through. I guess it's over for her. Mm. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. See, so look, at 27, she should have worked back into shape. I agree. Because want to know why? As the days, as the years go on, it's going to become harder and harder to get back into shape, man. Man, hmm. you ain't you ain't telling nothing but the truth. <laughs> like, uh, it's yeah. over. She had them kids. Over what? Five and seven? Mm. Four and seven? <laughs> over two dudes. You had this. You had two kids that close by two different guys. She just be loving everybody. She 27, two kids. Y'all know how this story goes. She allowed to be five for five by the time she 35. 30, 32. <laughs> God dang it. So here we go. Shout out to Desi Boy come through. Um, he says she has potential. No skip. Okay. <laughs> no skip. All right. All right. We appreciate you. Get them down. <laughs> All I do is get money, smoke gas. And I'm going to go make my baby mama mad. And I'm going to go get money and smoke more gas. Ha! Get money. Looking ass. All right. Get money and smoke more gas. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Big Dom. So, so he said we're still cooking. Is that what we're doing? Indeed. Indeed. He, right. said she, she said she got potential. Better hurry up for somebody unpotential her. Okay. That part. And shout out to EJ Uno. He says, I was ready to be optimistic. Yeah. All right, you still can. Let's see what she say. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got Michaela, Atlanta, 
27, Aquarius, a chef, performing arts dancer, model two kids by two men. You've never been married, correct? Never been married. Never been married. When was your last relationship? Three years ago. Three years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? A year ago. A year ago. Are you waiting for a relationship? Yes. 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 Okay. Um, what are three flaws you have to work on? I'm very impatient. <laughs> That's really bad, but I'm impatient. Um, I overthink a little bit. Um, and uh, which one else? I have trust issues. Like I, I kind of overthink. So um, those are my flaws that I do work on. Okay. Well, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I'm ambitious. Um, I'm ambitious. I'm hardworking. Well, I wouldn't say hardworking for a relationship, but I'm very faithful. I love God, and I'm I'm a family oriented person. So I feel like men. That's one of the good qualities. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. No, I understand. It is. This could be a nerve wracking moment. <laughs> um, I now I know how people feel when they get on here because I'm like, oh, I could do Kendra show. Why are they so nervous? And now you picked me, and then I was like, oh wow. Yeah, there's a lot of people looking, watching right now. <laughs> so here we go. I'll say this. For for as much of this as we do, she is coming off as sweet and kind mm. and feminine. You know, that's why I said Mr. 40. I don't think this is a headache. You just got, you know, stepfather and all, but, you know. That's it. Like I said, we ain't just throwing Mr. 40 hours to the hyenas. We're not doing that. She ain't. Look, y'all hear her? She sound pretty sweet. She do. <laughs> Do you think you can talk to a woman like this and get her on your on your program as far as getting her in the gym on some regiment eating healthy? Maybe some maybe a woman like her need a man. Uh, she two for two. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, see? <laughs> see, I'm trying to listen. see it, so you gotta be older. I said 45, <laughs> now we up 55. 55 plus, just a dub. You know, you 55, 60, you know. See, for all y'all say we not giving y'all solutions, I be dang yes, we are. We try even Mr. X in here try to talk about she can be, you know, influenced to get to the gym. And it's that two for the two. Y'all don't understand. She two for two. She had she had two husbands off paper. All right. She gave two men the most precious commodity she could give them, which was her womb. And here we go. She big up, she up here blowed out, frumpy, and she up here using the sick modern woman hoodoo talking about. I overthink. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what is overthinking? Uh, how does that translate in Bonquisha economics? That means that she's insecure and she's gonna project those insecurities onto you. She's gonna say, Do this cat suit make me look fat? And what you gonna say? <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, because even an older guy, ain't no old man, you 55, you know, I won't say old, but you know, more mature guy, 55, 60. You on the back end, you trying to look at retirement. Ain't no way in hell you trying to deal with a woman with four year old children. You ain't you past that phase, so you can't even put this on the older man. I see if she had like yeah. teenage kids, maybe, but see, it's over. And here, here we go. So let's say she was to whop, snap that thing back, get all fit with her perceivably feminine self, and then she get her Mr. 45, 50 year old guy that she liked. And and he got some he got he got it going on. He allowed to be controlling. She 27. He might look, you ain't going to no club. Will you pass that? You two for the two. And it'd be a sister like not necessarily her, but in her situation, two for two and all. It's like, oh, he was controlling. He won't let me go out. Cause every time you go out, you wind this up pregnant. Stay in your butt home, you wild. So I think the net net of it, sister, if you see this. Poetic dancer. Maybe we'll check her IG out. What's her IG looking like, y'all? Um, what about this baby father? This four-year-old, the irreconcilable differences. You need to do whatever the reverse of that is and go figure it out. Come on, he was in the military. Oh so my god, hold on, man. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That, See, you figure it, that out. <laughs> it's over, man. She said it's over. She said they split on good terms. Most likely he didn't listen. 
They you split up with him. Cheeks. Yeah, make that work, sister. She too sweet. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that I'm not. Yeah. He military. She talking about they split on good terms. They cool. He definitely clapping cheeks. Like y'all know the hoodoo. They this sister would say, I'm not getting no new bodies. That's my baby daddy. What do you mean? That ain't nothing. We we got a whole kid. What's wrong with me hunting him on the regular? That's like I'm not hunting at all, right? All right. <laughs> There we go. I'm gonna let her land her plane. Like I said, we'll maybe we'll check this IG out because that Kendra Kane was not the most flattering, but it, it was what it was. You can't go, you ain't gonna fool us with an angle or a filter. We seen what we seen. Nope. So. <laughs> what is the age range you said you would date your 27? Uh 27 and all the way up to maybe 40, nothing past that. Maybe, yeah. Okay, nothing past. That. After everything I just said, Bonquisha, huh? Hell to the no, to the no, no, mm -mm. no, hell to the no. I just sat here and said 55, 60. She gonna get in here and say 27. This, this is how you end up three for three, four for four, five for five, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> she 20, that was the only answer that could have been worse than her age. She 27. She, do y'all not understand? She wants somebody her age, somebody that she's not settling for. Come on, get the picture without me getting granular, all right? She wants somebody her age, somebody that she ain't settling for to come in and play stepdaddy and ain't getting no coup de cata until he probably proposed. And she two for the two and blowed out. Very much giving Penguin in that cat suit she is. And she wanted to get her age to come in here and be whatever so here we go i'll say past that now um i just want to ask you this question because I, I you probably will be a highlight what would you say to the person that might be concerned because you do have two children um and four and seven what would you say to the person that's concerned um because of that i'm not looking for someone to replace my kids fathers they have their own fathers we work together as parents, co-parent and stuff. Um, my my kids are very important to me, but I'm not looking for someone to replace that. And my what my relationship is with my kids is with my kids until we get to the point where we're serious in that relationship. And then we go ahead and here's my kids, <laughs> my son and my daughter and stuff. Um, also, <clears throat> even though you didn't ask, I'm very, very dedicated to my business and my dancing and stuff. And I do know how to prioritize and I do know how to separate that, but it is very important. I don't wanna ever change that, me being a dancer or me having to stay at home and stuff. I don't want to stay at home. I'm, I'm a business woman and I'm focused on my dancing and um, being a chef as well. Okay, so you, do you desire to get married? Yes. But it's you're over. As when you're married, it's you over. still want to work. It's over. Yes. This uh, this show I'm creating, I'm directing a show in Atlanta called The Art of Love. It's about why I fell in love with dance. I have my children. I'm trying to dedicate um, that now that they're older, I'm trying to dedicate my um, like focus on my work, focus on my business. But I know for a fact. There is a bed I, I sleep in and I, I would love for a man to be next to be able to come home and be like, look, babe, I just got a I just got a promotion. <laughs> I'm a chef. I'm, um, I just got my second show and stuff. So I am not an independent. I don't want to be an independent woman from the rest of my life. I have my kids. Yes, it's not a big. It's not <laughs> like a big deal, but. Um, I'm willing to have more kids and willing to put time aside for that special person. Okay, willing to put time for that special person. Okay, so we got Michaela, Atlanta. So why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I I had said I'm go I go oriented. I'm ambitious and I'm hardworking. I'm loving and nurturing. And I think those are good good qualities. <laughs> good qualities. Okay. And what qualities do you feel as though make you a wife? 
You said what? What qualities make you a wife? Someone that's faithful, trustworthy, knows how to communicate, loves God, and keeps their relationship private. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's what you have a sweet soul, Michaela. Thank you. you and I love you, Kendra. I have been watching your show for so long. And what you do for the women on here and men is is it inspires me. I think the first time I seen your video, you were talking about um you were asking a question to Janet Jackson, and that's when I first seen you. And I All right, man. Here we are. I think this is a chameleon, you know. You know no way you end up two for two out here. I, I ain't buying it. We just had to listen, you know, listening. I said, this a whole chameleon. Don't do it. Stay there forward. we go. My recollection, my thoughts, my diagnosis, exactly. Straight up chameleon. And that, and it came out. It came out. She ripped that mask off slowly but surely, you know, talking about, I ain't never going to stop working. You know, I want to be independent forever. But I'm always going to work. My kids and my dance come first. Chameleon. Raging hyena. That's all. She's just a sweet hyena, which don't make it no better. She did, she, she, she most likely very sarcastic. You know, she's a gaslighter. You know, maybe a tinge of narcissist. And why, why am I throwing these heavy words out there? She, she two for two. And she telling the next man to come into her life that her dance and her kids by these other two dudes come first. Not him. Nothing about this guy. She said, I would like to have just a guy next to me in my bed. Just there. You know, it would be nice. And I'm going to stay on this square saying that today's modern women are becoming the man that they claim they so desperately dis despise. They become a mister. <laughs> And here goes this IG. She like dancing, apparently. <laughs> I tell you what, she what? Listen, <laughs> I, <laughs> I appreciate the uh, what do you call? It? She got spirit. She got she got spirit. <laughs> she got spirit. <laughs> spirit. Yeah. Here's. Here's the thing. I'm all for I'm all for artistic expression and all that. That's all cool. But here is the thing. Like the very fact that she two for two, I cannot take take it seriously. She liked that white cat suit I see. What is this? I ain't buying this shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, salsa. Yo, oh. this is very much y'all, y'all, <laughs> for, for those of you that got kids. Y'all know SpongeBob, whenever Squidward be dancing, doing his eclectic dancing, and it really don't make no sense, that's that's the vibe I'm getting. When there wasn't no music, I was getting Squidward's eclectic dancing. <laughs> that's all. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> she doing the, See, I'm all for this type of stuff, man. But you got to be real. That's how you end up three for three right there. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the baby up in me. You feel me? Go ahead. Like Show Nug Nug. Yeah. Show Nug Nug what you got. She is flexible. Kudos to that. <laughs> but no, still ain't giving it. It, it looks it looks wonky, you know. Yeah. 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 Like I said, yeah. 55, 60. You know. If she yeah, she for doing. Look, I'm not. Ain't nobody buying it. <laughs> like, <laughs> what this is? It ain't given. You know what I'm saying? Like we always use Janae Aiko as an example because of her who how, who she is. Now we got you know Janae Aiko. She she all mystical and chakra all that too. So and it makes sense, you know. But when you ex when you are showing gluttony and sloth. Look, she was yeah, hit the She had a bunch of box wine, and now she just, you know. <laughs> yeah, like she got drunk a bunch of box wine and ate some shrooms, and this is what you get. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm so I'm serious. I'm I love I love artful expression, but that ish ain't giving nothing. 
at all. She almost she turned, she started twirling around and, and got dizzy and almost hit the wall. Don't be recording that. <laughs> and she <laughs> she keep throwing that leg up for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I thought she got all them damn kids. You keep throwing that leg up like that. Doesn't know be like hell. <laughs> hey, Nug Nug come over. He's like, hey, do that one dance, that one dance move for me. That dance move you do when you grab your leg. Go ahead, do that. Show me, show me how you do that. <laughs> let me let me pop this honey back. Go ahead, show me that dance move. Yeah. Uh, and she a chef. She wake up in the morning and whip Nug Nug up a mean sandwich. You know, bacon, all that. Hell, on Texas toast. Hell, where no no going? Nowhere to the couch. <laughs> <laughs> so she is a dancer, I guess. I'm gonna go off on the limb and say she a little slow. I'm I'm <laughs> saying like, and I and I wouldn't say that here if I wouldn't say it while she was up here on camera, sister. You give it slow. You very much giving that dude Kimber with the one tooth. The virgin dude, that's what I'm getting. Go ahead, throw that leg up. Let me see that leg. <laughs> Pop that leg. I need the leg. Nah. Throw that, throw that leg up for him. <laughs> like maybe she wasn't blown out before all the kids and she was doing this when she was like 18 or something. I don't know. Maybe it made sense, but you got to let that go. Yeah, because you two for two. Like, I don't know. Is this... What do we yeah. get? She's so lighthearted and glory she to just, the sister. She just started moonwalking. She, she almost fell. She, <laughs> she goes, <"Whoa." laughs> What the? Holy hell. This is like drunk auntie. <laughs> Listen, I could do that. I could twirl around and almost fall over. Who the heck can't? <laughs> Seriously. Everybody, uh, this could be. Uh, uh, what they call it? Trust fund baby. Cause like I said, she very light. She ain't heavy. She is not defeated by Nug Nug in the slightest. And uh, I'm, 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 we don't spend a lot of time. This is the intro. We didn't get through the show. <laughs> All right, sister. Holy guacamole! I'm, in, I'm intrigued. She two for two, and she's so light hearted. And then she up here spinning around dancing, about to fall over. So I'm like, airhead trust fund kid that don't know her reality. Or is she a little slow? What we got? Oh, this is but... funny. <laughs> um, I'm over her. I ain't going to hold y'all, man. It was funny. That was funny. I'll give it to her. But the net net of it, what we doing with her, folks? Something Marine with her goofy self. <laughs> yeah. Right. That one, yeah. She don't, don't send her to Glaze Galaxy. She's going to be through trying to dance on spaceships. Send get her. <laughs> To the All right, go ahead and pearl it and moonwalk right into the submarine. Go see Squid where y'all could dance together. They'd heat down there. Go. <laughs> the passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wave in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Amen. <laughs> Listen, when she said she was, you know a dancer whatever performing arts dancer i'm naive i'm still a little naive because i'm like okay she done went to juilliard you know she the real deal i will always assume that when people come up here talking grandiose like that that they got receipts not that they you know tripping off of as gab said box wine and shrooms up here spinning around doing loop-de-loops <laughs> <laughs> she out here doing eclectic dances to baby shark <laughs> Man. and we got a cash up here uh shout out to demarcus he says watching with no sound these folks look psychotic yeah. <laughs> see what i'm saying that's what i said all uh, right and also money 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 shout out to gone postal gone postal come through with five dollars in the cash app how you feeling tonight um we just getting started folks uh, Frederick Howard, he says, 2 a.m. gang violence, Bonquisha. And there you go. That that bees about it. No, Mr. 40 hours, Mr. 40 hours. We apologize for that disrespect. We didn't know who she was. 
But yeah, straight gang violence is you up. That's all she get is you up. <laughs> and shout out to G Honda. He says 304s ain't shy. How you two for two? Two man's DNA, but you shy. Chameleon, we were fooled. Yeah, she almost had us, but like I said, we like the Scooby Doo gang anymore. We be right? meddling. <laughs> Man, and Mr. Mr. said, Will you please do a side by side of the Marshmallow Man from the 80s Ghostbusters with the new Kendrick Cam? Holy hell. Maybe on the replay. So that's a on the replay, you gave us an idea. There you go. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to Gang Glock. He says, Save the last dance, Quisha. There you go. Oh, sister. 27. Slow. Slow. 27. I'm very much trust fund kid. She don't have no care because she can just throw money at situation. Probably got it. I'm I'm assuming. I don't know. But I see she dancing with two freaking kids and no real job. Talking about she a chef. She a dancer. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all saw her dancing. Now y'all want her to cook y'all some food? Real question. Put a one in the chat if you want her to cook you some food after you saw her dance. And they ain't got nothing to do. Person could be a heck of a cook and and can't dance. But after y'all see her dancing, would y'all want her to cook y'all a dish? So here we go, folks. We're going to keep it moving. Like I said, we done spent a lot of time on that opening intro. We got to keep it going. <laughs> Hit the like button if you're just coming in. We moving now. Uh -huh. So no, it's um I have I'm gonna use um sorry my sister email right now, but it's tab to Barbie. My name my name is Tequila. Oh, but it says tab to Barbie. Oh, I couldn't see yes, all the words. Um, yeah. I was like, what does it say? What do you want me to call you? What's your name, honey? So my name my nickname's Kayla. You can call me Kayla. I try to join your Instagram and I wasn't ready. I was coming in, so I do apologize about that. I was walking in the house and I didn't have good lighting or connection, <laughs> but I'm ready now. Okay, you're ready now. Let's try it. Kayla, where are you calling us from, honey? Where do you live? So I am from Alabama. I'm near Mobile. I'm not probably like 30 minutes out of Mobile. So you live in Alabama? Right. Yes, okay. How old are you, honey? I am 26. 26? What do you mm -hmm. do for a living? Your skin is glowing. Oh, thank you. I use a clay mask. I'm very into my like skin routine. <laughs> but oh, um, you I have great skin. Thank you. I am um, a dental assistant. I also work front desk, and I do sing at um, events. You also sing, you say? Yes, I do. Yeah, do you mind giving us 20 seconds? Bullshit. We ain't. Uh, uh -uh. uh -uh. uh uh. Uh uh, Kendra. Yeah. No. Uh -uh. No. Yeah. Shout out to Kendra. Kendra, one of them sisters. They think they could sing, but no. <laughs> there we go. We're going to fast forward that a little bit. <laughs> hmm. 26 dental assistants. Assistant also sings. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. Do you have any children? I have one. I have a daughter, and she's two. Two. Two-year-old <laughs> daughter. Why are you not with the dad? It just didn't work out. Um... I, when I was four months, I found out that he had another kid, and I just, yeah, I want someone that's gonna, you know, trust, be trustworthy with me. And I was planning on getting a house, we were planning a house together, and that's when it all unfolded. So, yeah. <laughs> Give me one. Okay, I gotta get a tissue. Um, I mean, Diamond, Diamond the Barber, Diamond the Barber said five dollars. A beautiful voice. Okay, <laughs> so when you were four months pregnant, he had another baby. He had just had another baby. Yes, he was like the the kid was probably like one. I didn't know about it about him. I would have been willing to accept him, but it just I didn't know. I was blindsided when we were in the process of, of getting trying to get a house and picking the room out for his son, and it just didn't seem all fair to me, and I just didn't want to accept it. So. How did you find out y'all were buying a house? Um, actually, it was crazy how I found out, but the um aunt, uh, well, the baby mother's aunt. Lived, lived next door to me and um she passed away and we had a good connection um me and her and that's how i found out because she knew him and she told me one day when he went to work and i was you know emotionally hurt by it so okay so here we go we're gonna stop it hell y'all hear the baby <laughs> once we got another sister another decent looking woman babe what she had two kids 
At of least course. one of them done accosted the other one <laughs> during that oh, last little clip. Yeah, it's it's a wow. 26. 26. It's, I'm, it's safe to say, is this just a byproduct of these women growing up in the hood? All right. I would like to know the, the poverty rate on some of these women growing up. How are they, you know, what leads so, to these poor choices? I don't know. I would say yes. Yeah, don't know no better. Growing up in extreme destitute, destitution and poverty. You know, we talk about it. These post sisters be out there. They could be a thing. They'd be out there in the hood. And all it take is a D-boy or nug-nug with minimal resources. And now, now he the daddy and the mama. Because cause the cause the daddy ain't worth an ish or gone. And the mama ain't worth an ish and present. <laughs> and yeah, so that is the reason why. Man, I don't know what the solution is for y'all. I tell you what, the solution ain't to far to turn on that broke ceiling fan. If she turned that ceiling fan on full <laughs> speed, it's gonna fly out. <laughs> y'all see how it's leading it sideways. It's gonna fly off and take everybody out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Start sending y'all kids to Catholic school or something. There you go. <laughs> ain't something other than the other than the hood and free lunches. Yeah, I don't know. There you go. That's a start. Send them away. Just send them away. Send them away. Uh, Leon, tell them, Leon. Send them away with white folks. Mm-hmm. They gonna turn out, all right. Leon said white folks tell him their secrets. I feel that it was wrong. And I gotta, I've been meaning to clip that up because that's ill. But never, neither, 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 keep it moving. Oh, Leon. <laughs> Leon got all the secrets like the Da Vinci Code. Okay, hey. Leon. Make sure you write it down. The, forget the book of Eli. The Book of Leon. <laughs> yeah, so this is all bad. This is all bad. Say that to see. I ain't no real solutions. Just start throwing ish at the wall. Yeah. Let's see what Something she different. want. Yeah, she said she was. She what was she engaged? She was engaged and she called it off. He was looking for houses. He had She's, another baby owner and allegedly. And, well, I guess he had a kid already. He already had a kid, but he didn't tell her. So they was dating and whatever. He had a kid somewhere tucked off and they went to go look at a house. And she was like, we're looking at the house. And he talking about looking for rooms for his kid. And Bo Creech said, what about my babies? I got babies too. She said, for heck with that. My babies come first. <laughs> so there you go. And before we do, shout out to Frederick Howard. Says modern women can cannot get traditional values from men. What we doing? Mm-mm. It's this woman for tripping. You. It's a baby mama of two. You ain't getting no traditional values from. Me. Good luck if you do. You know, consider yourself fortunate and lucky. Fortunate and lucky and blessed and all that. <laughs> yeah, ain't tra- traditional values is a thing of the past. It's over. Man, and hey, my guy Yazid. Y'all bae come through, says, my favorite channel to tell the truth on. That's all. Oh, man, for sure. <laughs> and Lisa Morrison, she come back with the $3 super sticker. We appreciate you, sister. Thank you. My guy. Joker Nutty Nate in the building with the $10 super chat. He says, shout out to Gavin Next for skipping them singing. Oh, single by choice station. Hit the like button. Yeah, we there want we go. That. Yeah, we don't want to hear none of uh God's special baby singing. <laughs> and that went on for like 90 seconds. Y'all crazy. Huh. Huh. Shout out to Polar Bear 65 says, I want my flannel shirt back. Please, babe. Please. <laughs> she got your flannel shirt oh, on. Oh, okay. I see her. Yeah. <laughs> she got that wig on. She ain't a bad looking sister. She got appears to have a pretty face, some her skin glowing, as they say, but and one child. She got one kid. One I guess, kid. I guess her kid playing with her cousins or whatever. Ah, this is terrible. Yeah. Shout out to G Honda. He said she had one kid, but you can easily hear multiple kids in the background. She allowed, he said, she also stated that you can take care of these kids, plural. G G Honda Erdlinus. Mm-hmm. Well, Jer- Jer- I can't stand. It. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to who's the master. All right, G Honda, good intel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and who's the master said, no, from the hood rat to CEO, they all have been clapped by Nug Nug. 
accurate. That's accurate. Jihan, the real journalism. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's a lot. So we got mm. Kayla, Alabama, 26 cancer, dental assistant. She's also seeing mom to a two-year-old. Have you never been married, correct? No, I haven't. Okay. All right, never married. Why what kind of man are you looking for? Um, someone that's just willing to work with me, who's patient, um, who's loving, kind. I'm used to being, because I'm very submissive and I'm used to being walked over on and I don't want that. I want someone like who understands me, going to be patient with me. And I do, I like taller guys, <laughs> but I'm open. Um, I don't, I'm not against everything. Uh, love is love. And like I say, love is the four letters. Love, um, you be open, available, and it's for eternity. So, yeah. Okay. Now, you said tall. How tall are you? I'm 5'2", so I'm short. <laughs> I'm very short. So when you say tall, what is your height preference? Um, I would like a guy, like, above my height. Um, there are particular guys that, you know, that's the same height as me. I, I'm okay with it, but, like, my baby father's, he's 6'2". I dated a guy that was 6 foot. I like that preference, but I'm okay. I'm very open, so I don't want to not knock anyone down because of their height. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Someone who isn't honest with me. I want a communicator, someone who's strong-minded. Um, and I know I say that I'm very submissive and I know that people walk all over me in a relationship, but I don't want that. And I don't, also don't want that for my partner. So yeah, that are my deal breakers. Someone that isn't trustworthy um, and doesn't have a strong mind. Okay. Should he look a certain way? No, I'm not against, um, I'll date any race. Um, I'm very respectful, so. Okay. Was, mm. What about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Um, no, I'm not. As long as he's trying to work for something, because I do believe in, if you don't believe in anything, you'll fall for anything. If he's working for something and he is working and trying, then I'm open because, like I said, I'm a dental assistant. I'm in the process trying to get my hygiene license, so. It is hard. It's hard out here. And as long as I'm understanding and he's understanding of where we at, then I, I'm sorry, that's my daughter. <laughs> oh, I think we hear the baby in the background. <laughs> my mom's trying to get it. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so you said back for the salary as long as he's in, like, working, you said? Right. As long as he's trying to work towards something and he's working. If he's not doing anything, then I can't work with that because I'm out here trying to be something. How how can we build towards something if you're not even trying to allow yourself opportunity to grow? So I do believe in that. Okay. Do you want more children? Um. Yes, I do. Um. But I do want to be married and not just waste my time on and then just be another you know statistic out here with it. And there's nothing wrong with you know having different fathers, but that's not particularly for me. I want the next man that I want to have a child with be my soulmate, my partnership. And we have something together where we're building. Negative. You already a statistic. Let's get this clear. You're a baby mama. She said, I want to become a statistic. You just being two for two, it's just game over. Right. But right now you are most definitely trending towards over. <laughs> you in Alabama too. Yeah. What did she say? She said some wild stuff. She don't want to be statistic. And that she said, you know, I'm not saying that having babies by multiple kids is bad. Then, then say it's good then. If it ain't bad, then say it's good. We are eliminating this, this mild, wide, gray area y'all done created. The, look, it ain't, it ain't bad, but it ain't good. It's in this gray area. Fifty Shades of Gray. No more. What then say is good, like the one sister on the premiere talking about Kendra said, Did you uh, do you have all your kids by saying guy? Of course not. Can you say, Is it a bad thing to have your kids by one guy? Bon Quisha make it out to be, yeah, because he ain't ish, so yeah, of course not. I wouldn't dare. What if I had bad enough? I had one kid by him. What if I had three kids by this ain't ish Negro? See that, and is that that's like them taking accountability. Not, never them. Like it's his fault. He ain't ish. Why would I? I'm too smart. That's Bonquisha's message. I'm too smart 
to have two kids by the same guy. I'll, I only take one time. What they say, I don't make the same mistake twice. I make the same mistake one time, multiple times. <laughs> Man, and shout out to Demarcus back in the cash app. He says that ceiling fan is straight vulture vibes. Yeah, just walking it on that ceiling fan. Yeah, go ahead, turn it on. <laughs> That's when wong wong that bearing all warped and turn it on full speed. See how long it stay up there. <laughs> and shout out to Tony, come through with five Canadian. He says, Mister Walker, when you were, what he says, rummaging. When you were uh, rummaging at the thrift store, was that shirt your first choice or that shirt won the knockout round? Respectfully, here's the thing. When I initially was, you know, trying to up the production value of Carpet mm -hmm. for the Horse and buy different shirts, I was, go I tried to go to thrift stores. I, I'm not against thrift stores. I grew up poor. Y'all y'all can't make fun of a poor person. So, so I was looking at the thrift store, but they don't, they fit weird. So I don't have the luxury of being able to get stuff from a thrift store. It's, it's all brand new. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Tony. Shout out to Polar Bear. 65 says the truth is the truth. Shout it from the roof. <laughs> I like that. From the rooftops. <laughs> and my girl El Paulino, she hit us with five dollars. Says, is being submissive uh and a pushover a new way of saying I make dumb decisions when it comes to men? Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. More modern woman hoodoo. So now I say I can't be submissive. I gotta remain a strong boy so I don't end up three for three, five for five. Okay. And shout out to EV Ray come through. He says, baby, always talk building, but they already built. <laughs> built up a whole pre-made family. So I said, man, we say this all the time. Do they not realize how that handicaps them dating? And then when you trying to, how do you convince a man? With, how are you, you know, if you approach this man to accept this deal, what are you, how's the presentation? Got to be more than Kuda Kata, right? Mm -mm. Nope. Kuda Kata and Victoria's Secret's uh, body spray. That's all they come. That's the only pressure they come with in a wig. <laughs> like a good man. The good man that they want. How you show up with a baby or multiple kids in tow? You know, and you're trying to convince this man. It's, a, it's almost impossible. It, you, you know, the only way to do it is with business proposals. Like, hey, like, what you doing? He tell you what he do for business, and you tell him how you can add to it and, and materialize it. Huh. But they can't do that. <laughs> then you got a yeah, shot. Man. See, because men are logical. Men are logical. So he's like, look, all right, I definitely would beat the cheeks. She got two kids, strike one through three. But, shoot, she can help me elevate my business and scale my company within a year or two. So I'm going to deal with her and see where it goes. But you see, a business opportunity is there first. Otherwise, can't just come with Kuda Kata and, and Victoria's Secret body spray. Dang, okay. and, and for all the detractors, you know, y'all got to, a lot of people say, what about the men? They got to start sleeping with these men. So that's just simple. <laughs> and Polar Bear, he says, give me sweet pony ride, 21, 29, in shape, good looking, no kids, not a financial leech, and I will roll with her. You asking too much, man. Yeah, <laughs> you asking too much over here. <laughs> but yeah, it is women gotta stop giving, you know. A lot of y'all gonna come in. I'm sure y'all watching. Oh, y'all talk about the women. What about the men? What about the men? Huh. Wait. We we ostracize them men. We don't identify with them. We talked about this via the Regal Rumble. Go check it out. Yeah, guys, we will ostracize one another. We don't identify. We poke fun at them ninjas. Women, on the other hand, in mass, especially modern women, refuse to single one another out. Y'all all beautiful. Y'all all queens. Y'all all can be successful. Y'all all can have a husband. Y'all do not. Y'all don't chastise one another in a constructive way. Y'all just, y'all call to one another. That's why I call it the gynocratic uh echo chamber circle jerk that's all it is mm. so yeah okay fair enough let's do the kids or cam okay let me go <laughs> let me position it right okay so i'm in my sister <laughs> oh, you have a good shape okay you <laughs> real thick with it 
<laughs> She's a little thick with it. Thank you. Um, Kayla, there was something mm. I was going to ask you. Oh, could the guy have kids already? Yes, I'm open to um, a guy having kids. As um, long as it's not um, six. I can't, <laughs> you know, six to my one. So, no. No. All right. Um, when was your last relationship? I would say about a year ago, um, the beginning of last year. All right. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? I don't want to answer. <laughs> okay. No, Three flaws you have to work on. I'm sorry. Three flaws you have to work on. Okay. I would say, like I said before, um, because I'm submissive, um, I tend to like let people walk over me, but I'm stepping in and getting in tune with that and not like letting that happen. Also, being more adventurous, I want to get out more. I'm not um sorry, check this door. <laughs> I'm um say I'm typically a homebody. I work and go home and nothing's wrong with that, but I want to go out more. And then I will also say, um, I know I tend to try to see the good in others, and that also can be a flaw because that can end up potentially getting you hurt as well. And I, I want to work more on that as well. Okay. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I would say, well, I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm I'm a really calm person. I'm submissive. I want, like I said, have that partnership. And it's all about love for me and loyalty. If you don't have that loyalty and trust with someone, then what are you doing, you know? So I just want to be that equal to someone, you know, be my equally yoke. So I'm very calm and easygoing to be with. I'm a giggly type of bubbly person. And I just love to smile, you know, and hang out. So of course I would be a perfect man. <laughs> so, yeah. So real quick, you said you're open to having more kids. Um, he can have kids. Um, does the guy have to be in Alabama? Um, no, I would be open to someone reaching to me out of state, you know, or relocating. Um, that's what I typically plan on doing anyway. I just haven't found a destination. I just got a house down here. So yeah, on long down the run, I'm open. I'm sorry. Okay. This was, and I was getting ready to ask this question, but I'll ask the big question first. Little double I said, do you still talk to the baby's father every now and then? I would say no, um, just because um, I don't want to be disrespected. I shouldn't have a man calling me any type of V's or, you know, just because I'm trying to reach out to him to get him to help me out with his daughter. Um, I can't respect that. And if you can't, like, do for your kids, then I definitely can't respect that. I don't want someone that's going to be out here just, you know, doing the holidays or getting, you know, their family. No, that's a no for me. <laughs> okay. I'm a that I'm guy that. that might be... Say again, honey? No, I said I moved past that. I'm definitely not trying to go back. Okay. Now, what would you say to the man that is concerned that you do have a two-year-old? You said, what do I say to a man that um, has a kid? What, what would you say to a man? Ooh, what would you say to a man that's concerned that you have a two-year-old child? I would say, um, get to know me because you really don't know anyone. You can, it's easy to judge someone, you know, by looking on the outside. I'm really open. Um, and my daughter, she's sweet, you know? So, and the kids are lovable. Like, she's not a hard child to deal with. She's growing, and together, we're beautiful. And I would make a beautiful family with someone, you know? So, like I said, just get to know me. And if you're not open to it, that's fine. That's not everyone's cup of tea. I'm okay with it. But you never know what the outcome could be. Okay. There you already got the outcome. She gonna say I can make a beautiful family. You already failed at that, you know. It, and as we say a lot of times, we gotta stop trying to save the woman on the screen. We gotta use this woman on the screen as an illustration mm -hmm. to 13, 15, 18, 20 year old women and small and younger girls that this is over. If you make once you get to this point, don't even get to <sighs> Nuck Nuck's kid. One one of these latest Kendrick contestants actually said that she did not want to be a cautionary tale. And they saying what's already there. Being a cautionary tale is inevitable. It's done. It's prophesied and it's fulfilled. Ain't no way around that. And we got to acknowledge the fact that today's modern woman is trending towards narcissists in a, in a crazy way. 
Kendra said, you know, why would it why would a guy be happy to be with you? Her answer in short was I'm beautiful, which is an absolute. I'm beautiful and I'm a perfect match. I'm beautiful and I'm perfect. Like you a whole baby mama talking about you, you beautiful. Like it's it's the it's the lack of humility for me. That's all I'm saying. Then she go on, and Jihana, you right. She keep talking weird. She like my child, my daughter's lovable. Then she said, you know, he gonna my kid. Then she, she'll say my daughter. Then she'll say kids plural. She keep doing that. It's very odd. Don't know if she got you know her daughter, and maybe she has adopted or taken care of one of her sister's kids. But she definitely keeps saying her daughter. Then we'll say kids plural. So I don't know what the new man getting into. Huh. So let me make sure that was it. Now, let's do it. We got Kayla, Alabama, 26 cancer, a dental assistant. She also sings. Mom to a two-year-old. Um, and what's the age range you would date? I would say um, 26. Um, I dated a guy that was 38. <laughs> so nothing's wrong with that. I would say it's about 39. Okay. We are your baby girl, honey. How can the guy reach out to you, boo? Um, I have an Instagram, Kayla.Lakendra, K-A-Y-L-A dot L-A-K-E-N-D-R-A. Also Facebook, um, Kayla Kendra. Kayla Kendra. So, here we go, man. This sister. How did she 26? 26, one kid, asterisk. And well, she, ain't, she ain't asking for much. She won't. She won't let us know last time she was up here going meet to meet. What we, what do we have here? 26 one kid. I don't I, oh my goodness. I don't want to sound stupid. However, I don't think she qualifies for the bioluminescence. Yeah, I was gonna say we're just gonna throw her now to space, a quick eject and let her figure it out. If she make her way back to earth. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. A smidgen, a smidgen of uh being merciful. I take it. <laughs> there you go. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. I hope you find some peace of mind. Man. And I see y'all uh, talk about her IG in the chat. I'm not sure what's over there. Look. That's it. She was blowed out. Hell. Yeah, it's all bad got... deals out here. It's all bad. What's over it there, is. sweet kid? Is it worth our time? Is she twerking something? Is she twerking something for the 99 and 2000? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, if she ain't twerking nothing. We don't want to see nothing. <laughs> and shout out to Divine Photos. Says Alabama Pookies are in her present and future. Indeed. Huh. And Skinny Boy, he says, all right, fellas, two for two stepper or Alabama? He said, Alabama, Alabama mama. Alabama, that's <laughs> Alabama mama for the win. <laughs> <laughs> And shout out to Divine Photos. He says, dudes from Bama going to roll tide past her. Roll tide. <laughs> so there you go. We're going to keep hey, it moving. Dude, uh, Divine Photos got one of them exclusive Glade City hoodies. I see is a picture. Yeah, shout out to Divine Photos. That's a t-shirt, I want to say. Okay. <laughs> shout out to Divine Photos. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! That is look crazy. <laughs> and... Like I said, this woman here, uh, Squeegee dropped the IG for y'all. So go and check it out. All right. He oh, says, man. what we got? I don't even want to waste time to go over there. We already behind. He says, I'll say she's only has one kid showing on her IG for now. Okay. Go. So go and check it out. The link's in the chat. For, that's for y'all. Go and check it out. There you go. Shout out to Squeegee Kid for the real journalism. <laughs> There you go. Now we're going to keep it moving. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. And we're going to bring this next wonky, wonky sister up. No wonky. These are all queens. Watch your mouth. Hey, guys. Huh. <laughs> queens. Here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Lauren, uh, where are you calling me from? I am calling you from very close to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You want me to say Philly? You can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Philly. 
How old are you? I am 41. 41. What you do for a living? I'm a nurse. Nurse? You got any kids? I do. I have three children. Say again? Yes, I have three, three children. Three? Now, these are three people that came out of your body? Three people. I have three people that I that came no, out of my body. Yeah, I, gotta, you I, know, I have some stuff kids too, but yeah. Well, Veronica told me I have to be very clear when I ask somebody <laughs> if they got children. So I'm gonna start tonight. How many people came out of your body? Three people. How old are the three people that came out of your body? Twenty, twenty-four, sixteen, and fifteen. Okay, well, are the same men? No. 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 How many men? Two. Have you ever been wrong? Have you ever been wrong? Have you ever been married? Yes. When did you get divorced? I got, got divorced three years ago. So divorced, not separated. Like you got the divorce in. I was separated 10 years ago. I'm legally divorced. <laughs> no, you <laughs> And I've been divorced for three years. I, I already know. know. So I got to be real clear. <laughs> yeah, I already know. <laughs> I got to be I real clear. So she got the know. divorce in. All right. Um, and, and the man you was married to, he believes y'all divorced too. And so this is his new wife, yes. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> new wife. All right, you divorced for real, for real. All right, what's yeah. your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. A Libra. All right, let's do it. We got Lorna, Philly, L Lorraine. How you say it again, Lorna? Lorna, like Lorna doing Lorna. cookies. Oh, yeah, Lorna doing I love those cookies. <laughs> those are my favorite I don't cookies. like them. They're dry. I'm to get so much weight when I eat those damn cookies, child. Um, Lorna, Philly, 41. Libra, nurse, mom of three kids, by two men. She was married once, officially divorced, so officially divorced, he's married to another woman, and three human beings came out of her body. Yes. All right, what kind of man are you looking for now, baby girl? <laughs> well, I am looking for a very masculine man. Um, I'm looking for a man that um, I would feel comfortable submitting to, not being obedient you know, that's to. Let's do this. Let's get better light. Cause I want. I didn't tell you this, but you should have better light. So turn around and have that light. This is better. Perfect. Okay. That's good right there. All right. All right. Let's <laughs> take it. Let me. Let me set you up right. Lorna Philly, forty-one, Libra, nurse, mom of three kids, by two men, was once married. Okay. What kind of man are you looking for now, honey? Okay. So I'm looking for a very masculine man. Um, I'm actually I'm looking for a blue collar man. Um, like a, a construction worker. I love it. Um, <laughs> I am, um, I'm looking for a, a man that's like older than me, um, that, um, I, I would feel comfortable, you know, being led by, um, that I would feel comfortable submitting to, um, that realizes that chivalry is not dead. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think that, that sums so you, it up. You mentioned this a couple of times, so you want to be a submissive woman. Mm -hmm. So what would be some of the requirements for you? to be a submissive woman? Um, so in order for me to be able to comfortably submit to somebody, um, it would have, this man would have to be somebody that could like really stand on his own business, um, that like does well with money, um, that I feel like, like he's a responsible individual that could like lead me and our family down the right path. Like I don't wanna just follow somebody down into the depths of hell. <laughs> okay, okay, you gotta know where you're going. So what's yeah. your deal breakers? Um wow. So my deal breakers are um disrespectful men, um, dishonesty. Um, and I know people say that all the time. And like when I'm when I'm when I say dishonesty, I'm talking about um is Okay, let me say this. It's crazy because right before I joined, I was just watching the video that you did with Kevin Samuels. Because <laughs> my brother told me to watch it earlier today. And um, I remember, you know, you were talking about how, like, you know, a deal breaker for you was like somebody that's cheating and, you know, something along those lines, right? So when I say somebody that's honest, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm looking for somebody that is like cheating on me, but <laughs> I'm saying that, if some strange something was to happen, I want that honesty from them. So when I say I'm looking for somebody that's honest, I mean, no matter what, like, if so you, you're saying if, if you're with a man and he has mm -hmm. sex with another woman, you would want him to tell you. Yeah. And you would stay in the relationship. 
Not necessarily. Well, that's like but it's not impossible. Because of that right there. No, no, no. No, but it's not impossible. I can't say with an absolute certainty that I would, but it's a possibility that I would. I wouldn't say with an absolute certainty that I would leave either. If that <sighs> fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about? There we go. What is this big sister talking about? It's a whole bunch of nothing. So, y'all, we all heard the sister say, you know, bring up the Godfather. And you saw, we saw Kendra make that face. That's all she can do. She can't say nothing. The only thing Kendra can do, she's intelligent. Whenever they bring up Kevin Samuels, the best thing Kendra can do is damn near act like she didn't hear it. She can't say nothing good, bad, or indifferent. So that's all you're going to ever get from Kendra. Other than that, this sister here, back to this sister. She said she want her good old blue collar man, her this dude. For, for one, the man that she left it, her ex husband, again desired outcomes. They he they departed, and he got a whole nother wife. So I would imagine he ain't tripping. However, she appeared on the Kinder Show, looking for another man. She two, she, at best, she three for two. So she get a new man in her life. At best, she going to be four for three. Asterisk. We don't know. We see too many liars. She could be three for three. It's you over. This woman 40-something. She ain't having no more damn kids. She blow it. Okay. Kids is, and other than that, then he, the next guy got to be standing on business. On absolute business. And you up here just very much giving blowed out and exasperated. Ain't going to happen. Here we go. That makes sense. Okay. But you're just saying basically if a man has sex with another woman, you want him to be truthful and tell you about it. Yeah. And we could maybe work through it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So dishonesty is very important. I want somebody that is like good with finances, that's disciplined. Um, and why are you smiling at me like no, that? Because someone, <laughs> no, I'm smiling because somebody said, girl, stick to the questions. We already late. I told you, cousins, I'm going to go a little bit longer on Facebook, and then I'll start Instagram late since I was 30 minutes late for you guys. That's why I was smiling. I thought I was sticking to the questions, cousins. <laughs> now, you know, they be wanting to get their turn. Just, Don't say yes the first no. No. They be wanting me to get everybody five minutes because they be wanting their turn. Well, let's keep going. Okay, I'm So sorry. you gave me your deal breakers, right? Yeah. All right. So the guy look a certain way? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> he, he, he should be attracted to me. Um, I, I, I would prefer a man with a beard. Um, height isn't as important to me as it used to be when I was younger, but I just want him to be taller than me. I'm only five, four, so that's not really asking much. Um, I don't like y'all going to chew me up because I'm not a skinny woman, but <laughs> I don't want like a really big man, like a teddy bear, kind of just not like 600 pound life. Not 600. Would you date a big man? Biggish. <laughs> we're gonna get to the kids game in a second we ain't get there yet um did he make a certain amount of money um yes okay how much uh at least in a perfect world we're at least what i'm making but Which is? i'm over a hundred okay. okay so in, in a perfect, perfect world, world Huh? In a perfect world, yeah. But I would go like 50 to 80. I would go with half of what I'm making. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does your husband make what you made? Um, no, he didn't. He didn't, okay. I, mm -mm. Do you normally make men that make 100K or more? Do I normally date men that make 100K or more? Yes. Is that what you said? No. no. But if, and I, I do... have, but not normally. Okay. But in an ideal world, you, that would be your salary preference. But you would date a man that makes between fifty to eighty k. You said, mm -hmm. okay. All right, boo. Let's do that, Kendra Cam. <laughs> I made that face because I was like trying to put a bra on or something. Like that. Call me with no bra on jail. I have call me with no boo. Just hang. Boo <laughs> just be hanging when y'all call me, child. Y'all be fucking naked. Boo out. out. All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let me see you, boo. Let me see. I, I, I see the hat. I need that. What is that? A hat closet? <laughs> I, you, boo. I need 
need that. I need the hat closet. I'm sorry. I was looking at you. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I need that. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me see you, boo. Let me see. <laughs> I, I see the hat. I need that. What is that? A hat closet? I see you, boo. So, stop. stop. Big stop. auntie. Big auntie up here. Hell to the now. Mm -mm. To the now, now, now. Hell to the now. Hey, shout out to Kendra's soft people skills. That's just the back up, and we all saw what we saw did. And Kendra said, okay, see, that's a nice hat closet you got back there, Bum Quisha. Look at your hat closet. I need one of them. Kendra, your closet probably big as hell. I'm talking about you need a hat closet. Kendra, shout out and this woman come up here. She got the nerve to say she looking for a hundred k. Well, she makes a hundred k. So shout out to my guy, Medium Man. I don't know how all these women that come up here make a hundred k, but let's grant her that. You make a hundred k. You know, best case scenario right now, you are gonna have to pay to play. You know, she talking about fifty to eighty. Or I would like a hundred. She you you being too vague as we say. It's just Please. over. You're doing too much. I love it. She said, <laughs> Kendra said, how much you got to make? She said, well, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, that's the disclaimer. Y'all not, please get an idea how these, these contestants think. Who in a perfect world? That's fairy tale. What you mean a uh, perfect world? He'd be making a hundred K. Yeah. In the perfect world, I'd be a millionaire driving be getting chauffeured around all right how about that in a perfect freaking world eat ice cream every day <laughs> man and shout out to yazir bay yazir bay he says she's taking care of the baby daddy's other child oh mm. shout out to adrian i'm not sure if that was for the last woman shout yeah, out to adrian so. adrian big 30 he says gifted five memberships we appreciate that brother appreciate you you know and Desi Boy come through with the five dollars. He says, Wow, she has Dead Sea Scrolls engraved on her chest. I once knew a man from Nantucket. <laughs> Hell out of pocket. And Divine Photos, he says, To the baby mamas, we don't want your ready made families. Men want their own families. At best, you get glazed and nothing past that. <laughs> there you go. Why do and why do men want to make their own? Their own families. Simple reason, because men want the ability to be able to put to to be able to pedestalize their woman and family. And with with ready-made families, a man, a logical man, can only put you so high on the pedestal, and it ain't very high at all. Man, and shout out to the beast come through. He says she needs to look for Mister Jim and become well versed in him. How is this fellow beneficial? He says beneficial because he doesn't talk and he's always there. Watch a match. What a yeah. match. So there you go. By the time the beast came with some razor blades and lemon juice. Yeah, that's the only man she needs is Planet Fitness, Mr. Planet Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> and who's the master with the five dollars? We appreciate you, brother. Says this two plus baby mama. Uh DD. Y'all be doing a lot. Ish ain't normal. Says I also don't want no grown ass kid and baby dad's ready to fight me over a blowout. Entitled loose, loose wall reform three oh four. They all that, all that who's the mess. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to Ev Ray. Says lady, stop saying family with the new man. You are not a family with anyone new. Your kids aren't his. Or his family ever, man. Get him, y'all got the razor blades out tonight. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to the beast. He says, Correction, correction made. He said, That face because you're embarrassed. Made that face because she's embarrassed. Yeah, mm, yeah, she is. She knows she's big. She knew that stomach. That stomach is wild. She got to navigate that stomach. Everything she do, she got to navigate when she put on her pants. When she go use the ladies' room, she got to navigate her stomach. It's always in the way. And she looked tall, too. So like a big old auntie. She reaching the top of the door jam. Huh. Even if the phone had an angle, she's still a little big, man. She's tall. Huh. Sheesh. Look. look. 
<laughs> yeah, that's big auntie. And shout out to Jamal with the ten dollars. Says ass in the front, ass in the back. Mm -hmm. All ass. <laughs> And Paulino says, in a perfect world, shouldn't a man get a perfect woman? Should a man get a perfect woman? Two things. Yes. But here's the thing. All, all, women, perfect. all, yeah, women, perfect. Are, all, all women are perfect. So, yeah, shoot. He would get something perfect because they all perfect, El Paulino. Uh -huh. Yeah. And shout out to who's the master. He says, that's not a fupa. It's a kangaroo pouch. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to the beast. I'm looking at what I bench, squat, and deadlift. Okay. What's that? You bench, squat, and deadlift. What is she? Uh, 285, 315? <laughs> <laughs> money, 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 money. And shout out to Divine Photos with the five dollars says, real talk. If she's an RN, she's surrounded by doctors, surgeons, and other staffs on her level. And you mean to tell me she's not meeting them? Yeah, something's wrong. Huh. Look at her bill. Why would these doctors and surgeons date her? They're like, you're going to end up on my operating table in a couple years. I ain't doing this. <laughs> and shout out to the cooking channel. Come through with the $10 super sticker. Shout out to this sister here. I'll be seeing, uh, she be razor blades and lemon juice in the comment section all the time. Uh -huh. you know? You know, sometimes, like you said, she provide her take, but I do be seeing you in the comment section, sister. Salute to you. Yeah, appreciate you. And make sure you go check her channel. I think you got a channel here. She I want to say I looked at it. She over there cooking, doing her thing. So mm. go over there, and all you sisters that don't know how to cook, go get you a recipe. There you go. I think she was over here in the chat one uh, show, and G Honda was being G Honda. <laughs> <laughs> And shout out to the classy perspective says she's go. surrounded by doctors, but this type of nurse isn't first choice, not even for late night cap. He says in the doctor's sleeping quarters. God, yeah. oh, hey, 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 classy perspective. She ain't even good for that Grey's Anatomy supply closet uh, rump around. <laughs> Absolutely not. All the nurses in the hospital, ain't no way. See what I'm she saying? The bottom. See, they got the nurses walking around in them tight. Them tight, uh, what is scrubs? She ain't rocking no scrubs. She ain't she ain't doing nothing with them scrubs. <laughs> and shout out to Lisa Morris Morrison with the two dollar super sticker. We appreciate you, sister. And Joker Nutty Nate says six foot, seven foot, eight foot tall. Yeah, it's a big woman here, man. She really is. She and if she won't blow out, that won't be such a concern. But she big and blowed out. Technical foul. Yeah. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot. Hat closet. I'm sorry, I was looking at you. Yeah, I, I need that. Is that a hat stand? Oh my god. Yeah, I love pets. Okay. All right, Lorena, right? Lorena. 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 I yeah. Um, when was your last relationship? My last relationship was four years ago. My fiance passed away. Oh my god. So you was married and engaged. Mm -hmm. How does your fiance pass away? <laughs> <laughs> um, he committed suicide. No, that's horrible. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Okay, so four years ago, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Three months ago. Okay. okay. Is that guy an option? Was three months ago. No. No. Okay. <laughs> what are three flaws? All right, hold on. Wait a minute now. Uh oh. <laughs> Hey, hey Leon question. King, where you at when we need you, Leon? I know Leon, she talked, I know Leon to say something egregious right about now, but listen, yeah, you know, you her know old man, he took himself out. You come in to date this woman. You saying my ex, my fiance, deleted himself. And she laughed. <laughs> Here we go. Here's my question. So and we're not making fun of, you know, stuff like the self-deletion. Terrible thing. Terrible, terrible thing. You know, from a man's, I ain't going to get into it. Terrible thing. So <laughs> she said that he deleted himself and she appeared laughing. So can we count that as an engagement? 
And on top of that, considering this engagement that was going to enter into the most unholy matrimony cap, how do we grade her marriage? I'm over this. The all these sisters now coming up here, they make 100K. Forget this 100K. Half of them make 100K, half of them been married to crackheads and 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 you know self-deleting individuals the joker bane the riddler these are not real marriages and we got a cash app here shout out to demarcus come back he says cue the big shirley horn lie he said long live the godfather yeah it's coming it's coming so <laughs> it, this is half off shorty folks and also tanya come in the cash app she says, replay gang at dinner for her birthday. Happy birthday to Tanya, y'all. Happy birthday, Tanya. Enjoy. Enjoy your beat day. There we go. You have to work on. Whew. Three flaws I have to work on. Um, I, I would like to be more social. Um, I tend to be like kind of like a homebody. I love my home. and <laughs> I love my space. But I love people. So I want to, you know work on being a little more social um i tend to be like a little bit of a perfectionist um so i would like to like give myself some more grace okay and that effect. and um i would i don't know if Real rap. Real rap. Kendra gonna ask her what is some of her some of her flaws. And she gave the infamous um interviewing full job answer whenever you whenever uh, a future or potential employer say, Hey, uh, what are some things you can work on? You know, where are you lacking? You say, Well, you know what? I'm a perfectionist. You know, I can tend to kind of be hesitant to get tax done because I want them done perfectly. But I'm working on being perfect. It's 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 a loaded, it's a bull crap answer. I use it a lot, <laughs> but it works. And she said I'm a perfectionist, but we can see his cat because she's she's completely blowed out. Perfectionist, we're gonna stop. No more modern hoodoo going into 2024, at least not unchecked hoodoo. You can't be a perfectionist and be blowed out. Stop. Man, so shout out to Divine Photos. <laughs> come through the 20 ball with the half off shorty skip says she laughed at a self deletion and the hair closet to the sub yeah both of them all of it to the sub she evil man and the beast he says fitness fact five percent of sisters are in the gym and the other 95 including the white women are he says he says, I've seen it almost at every day. Max bench press 275, squat 405, deadlift 455. Ooh, I know that's right. There you go. Here we go, the beast. It's a very low percentage of men that can bench 315 pounds. Come on, Marine. Got to join the club, baby. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, this sister here to the sub, folks. Mm. I agree. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favourite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Amen. So I see we was moving off for her, but now I see G Honda. Holy hell. All right, we arguing. He made us lose our time stamp, but here we are. Let's see where we at. Uh, the customer always right, apparently, y'all. So, Divine, you going to let Gianna do this? For, come on now. He disrespectful. She down in the cell. We had to say, oh, bring it back. Bring the cell back up. Surface. <laughs> Surface. She down in the cell. What was y'all doing? And we like, get back out the cell. Finish it. Finish it. <laughs> uh, here we go. 
You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Okay. And that, that. And um, I would. I don't know if you, if, if this would constitute a flaw, but I would like to lose some weight. <laughs> I don't know if that's a flaw, but yeah. You like to lose some weight? Okay, okay. And what's the age range you would date? You're 41. So I would date, let's go 47 to 60. You want to go older? Um, and should he be in the Philly area? Mm -hmm. In the tri-state area, you... for preferable. So okay, I... do you mind if he has kids or not? Mm -hmm. Do you mind if he has kids or not? <laughs> He can have kids. I would just prefer that they were like a little older, like no little kids. Okay. And why would a man be lucky to be with you, bro? Okay. So a man would be lucky to be with me because um, I am very supportive. Um, I'm loving. I actually want to, like, I really desire to be like, a man's peace like i love men i love black men and i just i want to be supportive like i want to to you know uh you know be that person that somebody can come home to and be like oh i can't wait to come home and see my wife or i can't wait to come home and see my girl and i'm an excellent cook um i know that's real yeah. so we'll stop for a minute yeah i know you're an excellent cook you're an excellent eater you're an excellent cook you're an even better eater all right, so we know that she says she don't know if losing weight is a flaw. Shout she out to Tyranny. <laughs> Some men like big women. This is how we get here. Glory be. So we up here laughing like, sister, the beast. She says she don't know. She don't know if... <laughs> if Y'all kills me in the chat. <laughs> she don't know if her weight is a flaw. She has no idea. Why? Because Nug Nugs and shout out to Heathen Queen, the traitors amongst us, keep telling her big blowed out self that she big and sassy just the way she is. So, and they all just feeding it to her delusion. Now she up here talking about, you know, I don't know if it's a flaw. Maybe I need to lose some weight, but I don't know. I'm still getting my salad tossed. <laughs> my thing word. is, as far as men, that's like, man, should a man believe if you got like some homeless, you know, fiend out woman and she telling you how handsome you are and you would you take that with a grain of salt or are you going to let that go to your head? So you got most of these women, the guys that are hitting on them, they don't want these men that's telling them how good they look. That ain't the man that's telling them how good they look is not the guy that they want. So why would you even consider what he's saying to you? You see what I'm saying? So y'all do this to yourselves. Keep telling y'all, y'all better stop letting these nug nugs tell y'all these sweet, sweet lies. Don't no real man that's going to be an effective leader and all of the above won't no big woman. They don't. It's hoodoo. You muted, Gaff. I said, shout out to Gang Glot for the skip. <laughs> It's over for this sister. So it's over. It's over. Yeah, this time we're gonna bring out the band. We're gonna bring the Godfather out. And ooh. Over. Cautionary tale. Here we go, folks. Amazing. Amazing. Don't know if it's a flaw. She at least she touched on it. A lot of sisters, there has been women come up on the Kendra show and wind up here on single by choices that are well over 300 pounds, easy work, morbidly obese, and they won't even acknowledge they weight. So we gotta we gotta call this progress, huh? You stick a blade in somebody's back five inches, take it out too. That's progress. That's this kind. Of, that's this kind of progress. <laughs> and shout out to Yazid Bay. He says gummy bear built. Yeah, <laughs> and the beast. He says I know I can see it. 
And like I said, shout out to Game Glock. He says, I can't do it anymore. Skip. Out of there. Out of there. And Izzy DeVoe with the $5 says, I'm waiting for the day when asked, why would a man be lucky to be with you? And for one to answer truthfully and say he would not. But hey, I'm a dreamer. Hmm. I'm a dreamer. <laughs> And shout out to Richard Media says, Mr. Walker, did you get a wedding invite from Tyranny yet? And it's 2024. Nope, did not yet. Hopefully. I she in Texas. I told her I'd be there via Skype. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to my girl Tyranny, who was up here cooking last night. She was burning <laughs> most of the food, but she was cooking. All right. Mm -hmm. Cooking don't just because you cooking don't mean it's edible. All right, you just cooking. So. Go, it is edible. You just gotta peel off. Peel off the the burnt. What was y'all remember? Uh, house party. Whenever, <laughs> whenever that one grandma kept burning the toast, she said that ain't burnt. That's Cajun. <laughs> that's all. There you go. So shout out to Tierney. All right, we're gonna keep the show moving. Hit the like button, folks. She, she looks like she's ready. To I live fight. in Atlanta. Okay, you live in Atlanta. How old are you, babe? Fifty. You look good. Give us better like though, so we can see your face. All right, there we go. You look good for 50. I, I wouldn't guess 50. Uh, what do you do for a living? I am a holistic doctor and a massage therapist. That's why you look good. You a holistic mm -hmm. doctor. You know how to you know how to do it right. Mm -hmm. Um, you have any children? I have two grown sons. How many people two. came out of your body? Two grown two. sons. Two grown people. Uh, how old are they? 29 and 28. Okay, both by the same man. Mm -hmm. You got two. Kids by different men back to back. Yes, I do. Okay. And that's when, and then I stopped. I was, I was traumatized, and I stopped. Then you stop. Have you ever been married? Uh, yep. Did you marry one of their fathers or both? Mm -hmm. So you never married their father, but you married somebody else. Yes. And when did you get divorced? Twenty eleven. Twenty eleven. Does Does the state? Well, I don't know how it works. The United States consider you a divorced woman? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know. Yes, that. in Ohio, the state of Ohio. The state of Ohio has, you know, got to got to ask clear questions. Veronica, are, yeah, Veronica, yeah, messed Veronica. everything up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to be clear and direct. Yeah. So here we go. The first sixty seconds, she two foot two had stair stepped her cuda cotta, but then defied all the odds. Got married by a man that was not her baby father. And now she back out here looking for another man. When does it end? <laughs> you can't tell me. You cannot tell me melanated women aren't amazing. Only as of today, as the stats stand, as we know it, roughly 20% because the number's going down. Roughly 20% of uh, melanated women get married. And as Gavin pointed out, she happened to be a two-time baby mama. In the sexual marketplace, that's a two-time loser. Shout out to Teddy P. And then she still managed two kids in tow. Two of them. She still managed to get married. Absolutely amazing. Some straight David Copperfield type magic. And even with that, you would think this woman would be like, oh, glory be. I, I, I messed up, but the good Lord still bought me a man. Nope. Divorced him. <laughs> All right, Nicole Atlanta, 50, holistic doctor, minor two grown men, um, by two men, married once. Um, what's your zodiac sign? Taurus, like you. When's your birthday? May 3rd. Oh, okay, May 3rd. Mm -hmm. All right, that was my grandmother's birthday. Oh, All nice. right, let's do oh, it. Wow. So, Nicole, ATL, 50, Taurus, holistic doctor, minor two grown men, was married <laughs> once, or children of my two different men. <clears throat> what kind of man are you looking for? Um, an educated man, um, an educated man, somebody that is um, knows how to use his mind, um, knows how to think, knows how to learn, um, somebody that likes to travel, hopefully as grown children and like my own age bracket, um, somebody that, somebody that went to college basically and is at the, you know, kind of like on the back end of life and just ready to enjoy life and maybe have some grandchildren like me and we can get together and take the grandchildren on trips and stuff like that um somebody that is also um, 
independent, but also um, wanting to have somebody in their life and somebody to share their space. You're with, very, so. very clear on this. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time, girl. Like I am like, I don't know. It's, it's just, you, I, I just saw Bernard, girl. I just saw Bernard. And you're right, you said it right. You know, it's hard out here and everything. And I honestly, am, I really enjoy like sp outdoors, like doing stuff outdoors. And I, I had a horse for a while. So I like, I'll, I can spend time alone and have a great time. I'm always meeting people, people always talking to me. I have a lot of friends, I have a lot of family. So I'm not lacking in love. So I, I'm not in a rush. That's one thing I'm not, I'm not in a rush. There has to be someone that's going to really take their time to get to know me. Mm -hmm. And we can get together, have some dates. Um, I'm not going to move in with nobody fast. I'm not going to marry nobody fast. Um, just someone, you know, attractive that likes to take care of their body and works hard and just with some kind of integrity out here, you know? Okay, I, know. I hear you, girl. <clears throat> I hear you, girl. What's the deal breakers? Ooh, lazy. Number one is lazy. Oh, I can't stand somebody that's lazy. And um, all right, y'all have spoken. She ain't even get cooking. So shout out to uh, Richai and Q, it's the OGs. Apparently, this gatekeeper here has rubbed them the wrong way and they like get her out of here Tuh. yeah i ain't, ain't gonna can't say much she half a hundo up here talking about she want a guy that's willing to learn and is educated and trying to travel half a hundo with demands strict demands not yeah i'm really. not I, i'm not sure exactly what she was gonna do i see divine photos you were saying it's gonna heat up but I'm not sure. I haven't seen this one, but who knows? She 50 something. I mean, mm. she, she 50 years from 100. <laughs> she half a hundo. Come on. Just mm. that's this. It's, here we go. Did she say anything wild? I didn't really hear too much wild besides her. Yeah, she did. She got she two for two trauma. Yeah, I forgot. She done divorced her whole husband. It's over. You fit. It's so Rachel Media come through with the $20. Yeah. And my guy Q come behind him. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! Vanished her off. So we appreciate y'all, brothers. Uh, where else we at? I see my guy Roosevelt in the house. Where you been, brother? Long time no see. Yeah, the Roosevelts. I asked about y'all. The dynamic duo. The dynamic Roosevelts. <laughs> yeah, the LaFloras. Hope your wife is doing good. Appreciate the $5, good. brother. Says yeah. Migrant Bay. <laughs> And that lady Jay come through says, no offense, but please stop the cap. Terrible tyranny is single by choices version of Veronica because all she does is cap and talk just to hear herself. Who <laughs> <laughs> tyranny? No, nothing but facts. Not no, not yeah, tyranny. yeah. That's fake news there, lady that lady Jay. Tyranny get all her news from uh the tabloids and the daily yeah. bugle. Facts. Number facts, yeah. And who's the master says, call me an a-hole. But I root against every 30 plus year old woman that comes up here. They fumbled and effed their way out of the dating market. Yeah. They really do. They hunch around till they hit their 30s. And then once that coup de kind of traumatized, then they say, I'm ready to settle down. Now the next man got to marry me to get some. <laughs> and shout out to Squeegee Kid says, went on pace. He says, we on pace for a record 100% caller baby mama stat night. He says, in a week so far, we are four for four. Oh, man. All right. This is All terrible, right, well, terrible stats. <laughs> yeah, we'll hate to ruin it, but I'm not sure. That's a good, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby Vegas. Come through with the 10th channel memberships yeah. Boom, make Appreciate sure y'all thanking these folks because we're getting a lot of gifted memberships make sure y'all thanking people just gifts is a flowing over this way thank you 
Appreciate it, Bobby Vegas. And Coffee Killer says she sounded like me. She he says she sounded like me. She wanted to just spend a man resources for her entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> That's most women do. Hell, huh? This depends on what kind of pressure they're applying in this one. Well, check the Kendra cam out. Well, look, we'll see. There we go. And Stevie D, who's been a channel member for five months. We appreciate you, brother. Says mm -hmm. educated man who's smart enough to know a bad deal. That's what I'm saying. She has fun though. Yeah, you would think these women be asking for a blind man who can barely hear, so he don't know what's going on. But how you want <laughs> some guy that's smart, educated? What established? Y'all know they want that silver fox driving that S class. Stop. Yeah, he, he, has, he has spent his whole life making great decisions to get to the top. Why do these women think in the blink of an eye, a man who is structured and disciplined and going to make a bad decision like this? Come on. It, no, it ain't bad decision. It's the best decision because don't you know, she got the best CUDA candidate that ever was in existence. <laughs> uh -huh. And shout out to Ask Rogers. He says Congress just passed the Veronica bill. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and Divine Photo says Pookie hit her cheeks for 23 years in her best years 23 of her best years but new guy has to pay for traveling and expenses in her older less valuable years oh. yes that woman. is the that's the power of the hoodoo you're gonna pay the highest price for seeds pulp and skin <laughs> yes most of these women do uh they think they gain value with wisdom and their careers and education, but men don't value that. So not like how y'all think, not, not in the sexual marketplace. There it has go. little effect. And shout out to one of the, one of the OGs in the chat. I don't know if it was doing a show or a premiere, but they said something about old people having just a scent or a smell. He called it an old person smell. He said, he got, he said, you get older, you just get a scent. And we all, we all done smelt it. So with that being said, respect. Getting getting old is a privilege denied to many. At the very same time, we gotta respect that, man. Ain't nobody trying to get into a new relationship with old funk. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna let her do this Kendra cam real quick, and we're gonna keep it moving, folks. Basketball and stuff today with the kids, so I'm looking kind of a mess. But hold on, let me take off my jacket. You gotta see your legs. Oh yeah, you look great for fifty. Thank you, girl. You look really good. Okay, so Nicole Atlanta, you and you've been married. You want to get married again? Oh, she in Atlanta and she ain't blowed out. I'll give her that, Kendra. 50 years old. If she was still with that man she married. That's what now we can we see why she most likely left it in him? She said I could do better. She out here massage she out here massaging on folks. You know what I'm saying? Being all holistic and all that. Here we go. She in Atlanta thinking she can do better. Level up. Mm, mm, mm. so yeah like we always say you marriage minded women that are you know between the age of 25 and 40 and y'all are blowed out and you let this 50 something year old woman blow y'all out the water and that's why she act like this yeah there you go and they say it one of these old gatekeepers came for 50 song talking about you know we look better than a lot of these younger girls but the men still want them and we got to deal with that I would take, see, that's what's wrong with the gynocracy and the sister code. Y'all don't take offense to these sisters be throwing shade, mad shade, and y'all just be eating it. Y'all don't get it. Y'all too blowed out for y'all age. So here we go. Shout out to Divine Photo. Uh, we got that one. Shout out to Roosevelt LaFleur. Come back through. He says she part of the body crew. Forgets her errors, but spills all the business. <laughs> okay. Uh, here you go. Shout out to my man, Roosevelt. And Bobby Vegas come back with 10 mo. Yeah, get 10 money. Money. Gotta get 10 money. Ah, oh, money. And I'm going to get it. <laughs> and it won't stop. And it don't stop. And it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? Out the Bobby Vegas with the 20 channel memberships now. That's too dope. Too dope. Thank you, guys. That is supporting your interest in a major way. Big shout out to Bobby Vegas. 
So here we go. Shout out to Richard Media and Q. Uh, this sister here, we going. Uh, this is Kev Classic. This is a 50-year-old baby mama that was married and left it at her man. She was foolish for that. And here she is looking at the Big Bang. Hmm. Here we go, folks. <laughs> Not mm. a good choice. Left her husband. Again, this sister managed to find a man to marry her after she was two for two out here in these streets. Just baby after baby. And found a husband. You would have thought she would have held tight to him like gold. But she treated him like a rag doll. Go figure. <laughs> So here we go. I'm gonna catch this timestamp. Hit the like button as you coming in. Um, y'all know we far from over. So we got some madness on the back end. I want to say the feature should be a good one. So hit the like button, folks. I tell you what, Leon King always talking about he's smoking some herb. Leon King is ain't that against the King James pamphlet to be indulging in, in the devil's lettuce? <laughs> huh? You doing Leon? You've been a hypocrite, Leon. You're supposed to be our in-house uh, Bible thumper, and you over there, you really over there, uh, token, token on the uh, Chiba. Hmm. How King James feel about that? <laughs> and here we go. We got some cash apps here. Shout out to Demarcus. He says holistic massage therapist giving out the happies. And mm. I see Divine Photo says a lot of women sure know how to get their careers and finances together, but personal life and relationships be in shambles. Huh. They're still successful in their eyes. And also, shout out to Bobby Vegas. Come through with the $50 after he done gifted uh, 20 memberships. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! So you are one of the show sponsors right now, brother. We appreciate the support. Got to get a drop for that one. Appreciate you, man. Man, shout out to Bobby Vegas, y'all. <laughs> can it, can it, can it, can it, can it, can it. Do what, can it? What are you doing, can it? Feeling money. Can it, can it. <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> Appreciate you. Okay, Leon King said it's not so smoking herb is not condemned in the King James Path. Okay, Leon King. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Here we go. It's Sinedra. Sinedra. Sinedra, yes. how old are you? I'm oh no. I'm 40. <laughs> 40. And what city you live in? New Orleans. New Orleans. What's your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. Do you have any kids? I do not. No kids. Mm -hmm. We got and it's Sinedra? Yes. Sinedra. Sinedra. Say again. Sinedra. Sinedra. Sinedra 40 Capricorn. <laughs> New Orleans. No kids. What you do for a living? Um, I'm an executive. I founded a nonprofit that supports food entrepreneurs. So you own your own nonprofit? Yes, I run a nonprofit. You run it or you own it? Which one is it? Well, you can't own it technically, but I founded it and I'm the executive director of it. Okay. All right. So Sinedra is how you say it? Say it? Sinedra? Yes. yes. So we got Sinedra, 40 Capricorn, New Orleans, no kids, mm -hmm. founded a nonprofit. All right, boo, what kind of man are you looking for? I like down to earth. I love people who have like integrity, especially work integrity. I love people that are passionate about men that are passionate about what they do. Um, I am looking for someone that's definitely God fearing. It doesn't matter what religion. I need someone that values entrepreneurship, that is comfortable with a leader as a woman, because I'm very, I go hard and I'm a Capricorn. I'm, I'm every, almost every Capricorn. 
characteristic of Capricorn. That's me. They have to love me like I am. I'm professional. I got a little hood. I'm, I'm a mix of all of that. And I don't want anyone that's seeking to change me unless we're growing together, you know? So I don't know. Did I cover everything? Well, let's get to your deal breakers. What's your deal breakers? <laughs> Before she do that, all right, she talking a lot. I, I didn't catch a lot, but that last bit, I heard her say, you ain't about to change me unless we changing together. I don't know what the hell that meant, but. Oh, yeah, you do. She up here talking. This is why, understand something. Shout out to Crystal. This is why a lot of logical people will uh, discard horoscopes and, and the zodiac signs. Because a lot of these sisters will use that as an excuse to be brutish, mean, you know, whatever, uh, misand misandrist, however you say that, just or or just narcissistic. I'm using that word all 2024 because that's what they are. And that's why I don't now you know I am what I am. So I go hard and you ain't gonna change me unless you build, unless we build together. Yeah. No, no. She 40. She's stuck in her ways. And she's looking for a go-getter man. Good luck. Here we go, folks. Deal breakers. Um, I'm not a fan of smokers. I mean, you know, recreational marijuana is okay. But, you know, <laughs> but like cigars and cigarettes, I'm not a fan of those. Um, if they're working on quitting, we could, but um deal breakers if you have like very, very young kids or a history of not being committed or like doing the work if you make excuses if you if a guy is interested in staying in a nine to five that doesn't have flexibility for travel if you're not interested in traveling those are deal breakers anyone that's anyone that's committed to growth like their ideal I, I, people are People are unique in a sense that, you know, they may have some great qualities and, you know, you just got to stay flexible. I don't want to like, I'm just not like that. It just depends on the makeup of the issues, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it. Okay. Now, should he look a certain way? I think guys of all sizes, it's just got to be well put together. Uh, You know, it just got to look a certain way uh definitely not shorter than me i'm five five um no <laughs> light skin dark skin what a about good money? Man. money should he make, cer make a certain amount of money as long as you make more than the teachers uh, average teacher salary for wherever you live that's good enough what is I that like because like you can like people can be up one day and broke the next day and vice versa. So but what's the average teacher's oh, salary? Does anybody know what that is? It depends on the state. So where where do you live? You live in I New live Orleans. I live in New Orleans. Right? So I would say in New Orleans, like forty five, fifty thousand. So make more than that. Yes. Okay. All right. Now how are you gonna do the Kendra Camp? Because you guys do the Kendra Camp for us to keep going. I gotta get, get out. Now don't y'all don't talk about me in the comments because I don't have no uh don't worry about it. Y'all gonna see what I have and what I don't have. Let me try to figure this out. All right. <laughs> Girl, just let me see. I don't know, Lord. Oh, thanks. You we got your legs. Maybe put the phone on the car. Keep the phone on the floor. Wait, say it again. Keep put it by the tie. I don't want it to, anything to happen. Um, you do got that curly pattern here, child. <laughs> um, you gotta put the phone down so we can see your legs. I'm gonna try it like this. So, oh. Okay, this is gonna work. Okay, you got a nice shape. Okay. Not really, Kendra. <laughs> yeah, she get very much giving Oopa Loopa. So, is she Man. giving like um, what's my girl name? The one comedian lady. Uh, not Simone. Uh, Wanda Sykes. She giving Wanda, Wanda Sykes. <laughs> So yeah, these sisters be built like, like like bulldogs. Like they just be real stout, real compacted and sturdy all through the torso and shoulder region, man. 
it's 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 very unfortunate. Just how I would imagine women would look at a scrawny man. It's like that ain't the best thing. Men look at you, but you look very brutish. You look like an inside linebacker. Not desirable to most men. That's all. So here we go. I'm gonna take it back a second. I see some of y'all wanna y'all want more of that. So here oh, we go. Got that curly pattern hair top. Um, <laughs> you gotta put the phone down so we can see your legs. I'm gonna try it like this. So oh, okay, this is gonna work. Okay, you got my shape. Okay. It's auntie. And man. this is say your name again. I don't want to pronounce mispronounce it. Wait, say it again. Pronounce your name for me. One more time, please. Sin Nedra. Sin Nedra. So Sin Nedra 40, what's the age range you want to date? 39 to 45. Okay. And should the guy be in New Orleans? I would like to see him at least starting out at least like once a month. So if he can make that happen, we we can figure it out. Okay. Could he have kids? He, he can. It, it's it's an interesting dynamic, but as long as they aren't less than two, hopefully not more than three, because I don't have kids, but I'm all right being a stepmom. As long as it's just interesting, but I'm flexible, no more than three, no younger than two. Okay. And, I, um, go ahead. I'm three. Have you ever been married? I have never been married no okay all right well let's do it why would a guy or what are three flaws wait when was your last relationship about nine years ago okay you've been single for nine years mm -hmm. and, and you don't have to answer but i'm gonna ask when's the last time you was intimate with someone i don't know i don't even remember <laughs> Woo, child you don't remember stop the cap <laughs> Talking about she don't she don't remember, remember. she's been single for 10 years it's over they don't get it they don't understand it is it has got to be a terrible thing i could not imagine being a female and going through your life being treated how she ain't ugly being treated how not ugly females are treated and then all of a sudden the the uh, empty validation and attention just kind of ceases almost seem like overnight you know what that's called it's called the wall <laughs> welcome <laughs> you muted gaff yeah she she ain't hunched yeah. she said she don't know the last time she hunched <laughs> i ain't got a solution for this one 40 years old ceo you know, no green kids. Car, babe. Green car. Let's be the only solution right about now for her. There uh, you go. Nonprofit, babe. There you go. Find a way to uh, appropriate them funds and pay to play. Get green car, babe, in the mix. You know, work it out. You know, get indicted 10 years down the road. Had a couple mil, you know, have restitution for a couple hundred thousand. Come out a couple years and you'll be good. <laughs> That's all. So, yeah, this sister here. Um, shout out to who was that? Q, what it do? He come through twenty. Says hello, everyone. Late to the party. Got to skip Tasha K. All right, and Q, what it do? Says you know what? I ain't see that, but I'm gonna finish her off. So, cut this on alleyoops. Appreciate you, Q. Two, what it do? Yeah, woman like her, we'll send her the diamond. Maybe Diamond got some good fortune for her. I don't know. There we go. Yeah, she got no kids. She forty. Eh, somebody out there for her. Yeah, maybe God. It's Sunday. Maybe God will do it. So there yeah. we go. He's an old time God. Yes, he is. Oh, old time God. Yes, he is. Joe said it may not. Come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. You hear me? Whoo, my God. Yes, he is, baby. I know it. I know it. 
right. All right. You got to wait on God's time. Sometimes we try to rush things and send me the send me my significant other, Kendra. No, what Kendra ain't God. You got to wait on God. So forget that. I love the Braca's hypocrisy. One moment the Braca is in in somebody's stolen rental car, trying to up the pole on the ops. Talk with her with her deletion face on. Next moment she back in her hotel room. Wearing a, a, a silken robe and a bonnet, talking about his own time God. Ladies and gentlemen, well, that is <laughs> you talk about speaking of Big Dime Hotel Room. I think Dime got her house. So I don't know. I, we probably won't have no time tonight. Maybe next show. We'll see. But yeah, I think Dime is officially out of the hotel room after about seven months. After about seven, eight long ones, she up out of there. <laughs> Hence. I guess why she appeared praising, say he all time God. And as I was gonna say, this is a clear, clean example of what we call a fair weather Christian. She only praising the Lord whenever it's on up and up, but when it's down, she on demon time, baby. The block time. Go. <laughs> so, big dime gonna send that sister a man. Shout out to Mr. Wilson. Says God made we Genesis chapter one verse. Bless 11. it. Bless it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, shout out to Divine Photos says a dating show. She looking for a business partner. Uh, Squeegee Kid says Charles S. Dutton face looking. <laughs> and who's the master? Scissor and me Timbers. Yeah! Boom, Timbers shall cool. be scissor. And Rachad's media come through says somebody in the ninth ward is waiting for her. Yeah, G Honda, stand up, New Orleans. G Honda. Yeah, yeah. go ahead with your bad self. Yeah, that post sister. Yeah, who's the master? Says scissor me timbers. That's probably her best option. Is probably to you know with a woman and it's, it's and Kendra sent this the other night. Shout out to Kendra G. Kendra just telling these women how y'all gonna have to start getting with women, and we doubling down on that, Kendra. Dang, y'all ladies. Uh -huh. Shout out to Crystal. I told her. I said, listen here, our melanated sisters have fallen far from grace. Ain't no way in heck that we should be in any position or disposition to be having to tell melanated women, hey, listen, in order for you to have a chance of ending out this life and not end up in being abused and mistreated in somebody's retirement home, you might have to go ahead and become real friendly with your bestest friend. <laughs> Get real friendly. <laughs> so shout shout out to Q with a dude who is one of the show sponsors. We're gonna keep it moving. Um, I think we got a couple more. Woo! Here we go. Look at the whole screen is synthetic, synthetic face, <laughs> synthetic hair, synthetic lips, synthetic eyelashes. <sighs> Girl, let me see this face. What's your name, honey? Shaniqua Battle. What's Shaniqua? Yes, ma'am. Shaniqua, where are you calling? Me from Georgia. Georgia. How old are you? I am 28. 28. What you do for a living? I am a cook on the Marine base. You're a cook on the Marine base, ma'am. Girl, you on the Marine base for all the men? Yeah. What the hell? You me for you got all the men in your face? <laughs> nah. What's wrong with the? What's wrong with Marine men? Um, from experience, no. Well, no. I never dated anyone, you know, in the military, but like I just said it's absurd. So no. And then like I have heard a lot of plenty of times that they be like people that's in the military, they always like cheating and just no different from others. Okay, listen, I, I'm I'm gonna say this and I say this to y'all. If you have a profession with a lot of men, you you have a higher probability of men meeting someone in your real life. Than my show. Now, of course, you can meet somebody in my show. People have got married, couples have been created. But do not negate. I mean, Marines, like you around hundreds of men every day, right? I know, I know, I know. But um, me personally, I'm not a sociable person. But um, if they like, approach me, I don't mind talking. So I just need to get out that, you know, comfort zone and just socialize. Right. I believe that's a fact. Okay. All right. So let's do it. Shaniqua, Georgia, 28. She's a cook in the Marine base. Where's the Marine base located? Um, 
Albany, Georgia. Okay. Yeah. Is that where you live? Yes. No, I man, I, I work in Albany, but I like to stay like 45 minutes away. Okay. So I'm like in a deep south. Okay, you're so close. Can you move back a little bit? So we're going to stop on Quisha for a minute. Is it, is she, she on a Marine base around virtually all men and they in and out constantly probably rotating in. Is it easier to find a man on a Kendra show or a Marine base? What are we doing? A Marine. Listen here. <laughs> well, my, here we go. Game, game with Tyrone's. He's he a Marine. Okay. Well, I'm in uh, uh, the beast. What we got? She said, y'all Marines ain't worth a dang. She said she didn't observe y'all. She said, all, she said, all y'all, all she observed y'all do is over drinking, cursing, and eating crayons. <laughs> huh? Y'all ain't trying to feed Bone Quisha none of y'all crayons? <laughs> yeah, this is bad. So it ain't helping your looks. Sister. You probably ain't attracting those men. So it's just unfortunate. Oh, yes, ma'am, I can. I'm sorry. I'm just out tonight, and I'm really holding my phone. I don't have a camera prop, so I'm really just holding my phone. Okay, okay. Well, I understand. Let me ask okay. you this. Um, do you have any kids? No, ma'am. No. <laughs> and what's your zodiac sign? Uh, I am a Pisces, but I don't stick with the zodiac sign, but I'm a Pisces. You say you're Pisces, but what? I don't too much stick with the zodiac okay. sign. Like, I yeah, that's fine. Don't go by that. All right, so we got Shaniqua, Georgia, 28. She's a cook, a cook on the Marine base. Yes, um, no kids. What kind of man you looking for, book? Oh, my goodness. Whew, okay. Um, first, he must be godly. He must, um, you know, put God first. He must be um, social, social, emotional, available. Uh, know how to communicate in... A compulsive liar. I do not like compulsive liars. Like, um, I'm always open. I'm available. Like, I'm available to communicate, you know, through small things, big things. Um, someone that protects me. Uh, family or a tent. Um, it's a whole lot, but I'm trying to get the main one. Um, okay. I think, I think that's it for now. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are your deal breakers? Well, my deal breaker is you cannot be a smoker nor drinker. Um, hygiene must be on top. Um, what else? We're going to stop her. You can't be a smoker or a drinker. So a man got to be 100% sober and be around you with this damn, uh, I don't know what color that hair is, like hmm. burnt. Uh, burnt burgundy. All right, <laughs> 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 uh, man. How you gonna tolerate that? Huh? Sober. Yeah, her hair is generally orange. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like general know. soul chicken orange. Hell. <laughs> now here's my question. Uh, Red Pill Ranger, is she a Marine? In order, she got to be part of military personnel. So. Are we experiencing our first orange haired marine? I'm a little confused as to what's happening on the screen. This is bad. So, shout out <laughs> to who's the master. He says, Forget the marine base and the Kendra show. She needs to take her big down to the Salvation Army and pick one of those closet socks. Oh, clean or the cleanest sock. All right, pick. Pick the one with the cleanest socks. Oh, dang! All right, uh, man, oh. is it that bad out there? Shout out to Mr. Wilson. Yes, they having a hard time even getting a homeless man. <laughs> Shoot, what <you> talking about? <laughs> All right, no, I apologize, Mr. Wilson. Hey, and Richard Media says she just described almost every Marine on base with her wish list. Yes, she did. Yeah. She did. Well, she said he can't what? drink. She said he can't drink. That's cap. She, you know what? Here's the thing. Is it safe to say that she probably like using these stipulations to disqualify herself from the dating pool? She like you can't smoke, you can't drink, and you can't breathe too fast. Women do that. They self sabotage. You know, I mean, come on. 
at some point we got to figure this out because she ain't making no sense so q what it do says she has not said anything crazy yet mr 40 r is a good fit yeah. all right possibly not not writing that off it depends here's the thing if she brutish and seem like she might be a forehead poker we not suggesting that for mr 40 r so we have yet to see yeah just because she got no kids we said this before it is a mm -hmm. qualifier but it does not guarantee anything. There you go. It's when I was thinking of. Okay, them, I'm just naming them three. But yeah, hygiene, no smoking, and no drinking. Hygiene, I hate hygiene no smoking, no drinking. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, Shaniqua, um, should he look a certain way? Uh, um, it's no, ma'am. As long as we see like each other like attractive, I think I'm fine with that. Okay. Did he make a certain amount of money? No, ma'am, because as a as a cook, I mean, I have I make enough to provide for myself, but like when it kind of money, as long as you're available, as long as you're able like to provide for yourself, and if it go on like further in the relationship, of course we can always like work on our goals and stuff. So. Okay, so there's no job requirement. Okay, could he have kids? Um, when? Let's see. One kid, yes, that's it. Yes, okay. Yes, All right, let's do it. We got Shaniqua, Georgia, 28, cook in the Marine, cook in for the Marines. No kids. All right, let's do let's do the Kendra Camp. Okay, give me one sec. <laughs> Come here. They want to do a Kendra Camp, okay? Huh? Who are you talking to? My sister. Uh, hey, sister. Oh, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, we see your breast. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh, what you, you uh, oh, you want them to see you. What? Ah, okay, did you post on them? I'm about to post about this. I'm like, you about to stop. Hold on. That was her, is it like twins? Her but, sister looked wait. like a damn mongoloid. Did you see that? Oh, I did, but I heard that voice too. Yeah, all of it, yeah. She, she said, oh, you want the camera on you. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm going to try to. Yeah, let's see what you can. Hold on. All right. That's her sister. Look like her. They look identical. Let me take it back. They share the same makeup. Huh. <laughs> Kendra Cameron, okay? Huh? Who are you talking to? My sister. Uh, you see my sister. She's about to say brother. My sister. Sister. <laughs> Oh, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, we see your breasts. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh oh. What you do? Uh, oh, you want them to see you? Ah! Oh, okay. Did you post on them? I'm about to post about this. Uh, it's unidentified. Shout out to Glorilla. You done messed it all up. Now these women want, you don't know. They got that Glorilla voice. It's just, hey, you want to back up some sis? Hey, hey, you want some bussy? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey sis. Hey, see, see one of them big old Marines want some of this bussy. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, man. Oh. Uh, listen, they definitely share the same foundation. That's what that gonna show. They just they got like a big old dish, and they just be they take turns just you know, <laughs> slathering it on. <laughs> so, yeah, either that's a dude or it's got some real deep Glorilla energy. So It's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm like, you about to start stepping? Are you in a sorority? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are you in a sorority? Man, I'm not. Oh, ma oh. it's like you just get ready to... <laughs> Oh no, man. I just love my deuces. All I know is deuces. Throwing up deuces. That's okay. it. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Shaniqua, Georgia, 28. What's the age range you want to date? Um, I'll say um 28 to 36. Yeah. 28 to 36. Yeah. Okay. Um, when was your last relationship? To be honest, I've never been in a relationship. And it's the reason why I say that because, okay, I never, um, the only relationship I've been in is like when I was, when I was a teenager and that don't count. 
But the other relationships I've been in, like, I always been like, someone they never like took out public. So I'm not going to say I've been in a relationship with them, you know, or something that was like actually committed. So you never had a, you never had a committed, that's my boyfriend, I'm his girlfriend? Ma'am? You never had a situation where like, this is my man, I'm his girl? Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let, yeah. I mean, so I, that's why I, I mean, I did what I did, but I wouldn't say I was, we was like committed. Like he was like, yo, you my woman or whatever. No. So let me ask this. Okay. You don't have to answer. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, um, it was a year ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that was just a flip? Yeah. Something, something I thought was something, but actually no. So, okay. All right. Now, what are three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship? Um, okay, when dudes, like, when dudes try to come to me, I'm very, like, vulnerable, and I shouldn't be that way. You're very um, vulnerable? So, yes, ma'am, like, I'm always available. Like, you cannot show him that you're, like, um, you cannot show him that you're always available. You got to let him want you. You know, you got to let him want you. So that's one of my flaws that I feel like um, is being more vulnerable to a man. And I don't want to be that way. I want him to miss me, you know, without me telling him all the time, oh, I miss you and so and so. And okay, my, my second... Fair enough. Okay. My second, my second flaw is... Um, ooh, I don't know. This It's not hard. This is something I really haven't thought of. Um, hmm. A lot of people don't take time to think about their free flaws. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not... I want to be adventurous, like go out more and like experience like more than outside and where I stay. And I'm more like a homebody. Like the only the only thing I do is like go to church and go to work. That's it. And I rarely go out. So you want to go out more? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Do you have and a third one or no? No, ma'am. Only two flaws. Yes, ma'am. I have more, but I can't really think of anything. Don't <laughs> Why would a guy be lucky? Like, say it again. Don't get me wrong. I have my flaws, but I'm not sitting there like I'm just, you know, all that and, you know, yeah. Okay. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Uh, like I said before, I'm open. Um, my main thing I do, I, I do go to church. Yes, I do. Um, Listen, you go to church. You're on a Marine base. You're almost 30 years old, but yet you have never been in a relationship in your entire life. What more do a good, God-fearing, marriage-minded, church-going man want? More than a woman, a, a woman with no kids, all she do is go to work and go home and go to church. That's her words. How in the world has not one of these men snatched this woman up? How sway, just how. And again, shout out to the Godfather. These sisters stay worrying about how they ain't got no man, and all they do is go to work and go home. Did no stops in between. They go, they they at home. They make they run to uh, Starbucks to get their nasty overpriced sugary coffee drink. They go to work, you know, back get some coffee back home. That's it. And your and your man ain't in Starbucks. All right, he and, might be in Barnes and, and Nobles. <laughs> and let me ask y'all this. Let's say that her sister brother is a bussy bandit for real. Let's mm. say they live together. Let's say they mm. at the hip. They're almost like twins. So as a man, you know, the man might go in and glaze buns, but you're like, if I'm dating this woman, I got to deal with this. Like, I don't know how many of y'all out there have uh, bussy bandit stepbrothers. I don't know. You know, how do you deal with that? That's a you know, that's a thing. There you go. Here's the thing, like brother in laws. I'm sorry, brother in laws. There you so. go, especially like a flamboyant one, you know, not like the old uh what they call them. I forget uh Stonewall, the Stonewall uh alphabet gang. You could the you know the YMCA dudes, you really didn't know that they was on the other side of the fence. Today you got these flamboyant dudes, they love to get in your face. That's the that's the downside. These flamboyant dudes, they will get in your face like a woman think you can't hit them because they are extremely feminine. But you got a weenie and, and, and beans, man. You can get slapped. And you'll be dating this woman 
And most of the time you want to hang out with her, like, oh, my sister coming over. And you're like, I ain't trying to be hanging around your sister, brother. <laughs> Hell, y'all got to, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing yeah. that. So we're making things awkward. So. Because ain't no honor, ain't no morals in it. Your whole, your, your, your bussy brother, you know what I'm saying? Doing little, you know what I'm saying? Little things and not conducive to a, to a heterosexual man's peace. Not conducive, that's all. So, shout out to Frederick Howard. He says, let's say, family orient, family, family oriented. Or oriented, <laughs> yeah, she tried. <laughs> and Divine Photo says, her brother, I mean, sister, could be a Decepticon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and what's this? I can't. Your, what we got your here? Raja, your Raja, your Raja, your Raja come through the five dollars. Appreciate you. I want to butcher your name. Said yeah. she's a cook in a chow hall. See, we call them the local talent. They are all ran through. Yeah, boom shakalaka. See, that's my thoughts on that. Like playing playing sports in college, and you know whatever athletic trainers. That's just what it was. It. This is, okay, here we go. We're going to get to it. Any woman that's around men that most women desire, st athletes, freaking hardcore Marines, occupational hazard. It's just tough. It's tough. To, it's a tough deal. <laughs> so, shout out to Richai Media. Says, Mr. Walker, the more I listen, the more questions I have. Something is off. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. So here we go. I think that was it. Let me see. Um, I, I communicate. Um, we can work things out. Um, I'm a prayer warrior. Um, what else? Um, I'm not lazy. I, I, I would. I, I don't mind working. Um, and I think that's about it. That's about it. All right, here we go. We got Shanique of Georgia, 28, cook in the Marines, no kids. Um, why did I ask you why would it gotta be like a beauty? I just asked you that, yes, all right. But can I no, wait? Someone said, Um, <laughs> I'll read a comment. Someone said, Homebody with the red flag. Um, it's I can explain why I'm like so homebody. I've been like, I've been that way since I was a child. Like, I always stayed in the house, didn't want to go outside and interact with the kids. It just said, I just love, I just love being home, but I will, I will get out, you know, if I feel like it. And you know, this is one of the nights that I want to get out. But um, don't don't make it seem like it's bad to be a homebody. You no, know, it's not. So yeah. Not the and I am I I am healed. Oh yeah, go back to the the uh, what I, another thing I look for in a man is he must um his healing. He must be healed. Like um, I don't want to run into a man that's not completely healed. Like that's. They have this going on. They have that going on. Have your mind made up what you want. I'll tell you what. The more this is going on, my spidey senses, I'm not even 100% sure this is a woman. Yeah! Because her voice is a couple decimals lower than her brother or sister. And I don't know what kind of vibes they're giving with these wigs, with that makeup. It's coming off real RuPaul-ish. You see what I'm saying? Man, listen to here. Yeah, we we don't throw that around too willy nilly that accusation. But come on, this sister, uh, she about whatever whatever age I think she forty. She around desirable men. She around rough, rugged men, Marines. My goodness, no, she ain't forty. She like twenty eight. Okay, I'm sorry. She looks old. Yeah. Boom, See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? That's who I thought it was a strong boy. Because she in her 20s. <laughs> Mr. Walker going to say, hell, he going to say that she 45. <laughs> she looks so old. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not. I, that ain't even my. I thought she was about 40. She looked bad. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate, man. It's just unfortunate. That's all. She around desirable men, Marines. You ain't going to get more masculine than that. It just ain't. And how in the world? Like these Marines, I would imagine they at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like brother said, this is local talent. You you here. 
you in the way, so you're going to get knocked down. Straight like that. That would be my thoughts on it. But the fact that she's untouched, unscathed, even even the uh, trick and deacons ain't touching her. Hmm. What's in, what's in your pants, Bonquisha? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We They calling each other sisters, but I'm starting to get a tinge of the damn Dudley brothers up here. Like, they come up here. You see what I'm saying? He's the Dudley boys. We don't know. Because <laughs> here we listen. <laughs> And if we are wrong, please understand our position, what we're observing. That makeup is so thick. It can have any, it's just thick. It can have any masculine, you know, five o'clock shadows. That is caked on. And so is her brothers. Everybody got caked on makeup. Thick. At least a quarter inch thick makeup. You shouldn't come up here looking like a drag queen. <laughs> and not expect people to touch on it. This is Beyonce's internet. It's hard. That's all, man. <laughs> Make sure that was it. Holy hell. <laughs> Have your mind made up on what you want. All right, let's do it. We got Saniqua, Georgia, 28. Cook mm -hmm. for the Marines. No kids. You want kids, I'm assuming? Yes, ma'am. I do. Okay. All right, baby girl. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, I only have Facebook. It's Shaniqua Battle. S-H-A-N-E-Q-U-A. Battle, B-A-T-T-L-E. And there you have it. All right, boo, keep me posted on with Ghost Girl. All right, All right thank Bye. you. So she come up here. Beat to the boys! And, yeah, her and her brother, they just. Beat to the boys! They beat to the gods and beyond. So They got that mucho makeup special. All right. Okay, Mooch, mucho get traction. Her last name is Battle. I just realized that. In the military, don't y'all got a term called battle buddies? You know, y'all can't go nowhere by yourself. Huh? Come on, the beast. Y'all got a battle buddy. Y'all telling me this ain't battle buddy, Bonquisha, on base. The only way that, that she is unscathed is, is questionable. And, and it's extremely unfortunate. Don't know what's in her wallet. <laughs> like, like Capital One, don't know what's in her pants. Don't want to know. But I can guess. <laughs> So yeah, it's over. We gonna appropriately um throw her and her brother in the sub. I think that's there you go. Because it's inconclusive and we ain't even about to play these games. We gotta we gotta rule up here. It's 2024, and we will be ignorant and foolish to assume every being that comes up here with a makeup, lashes, and a wig is of the female variety, whether they announce it or not, because we didn't heard many, 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 many lives. So the deadly boys to the sub, you go. Here we go. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah. And shout out to Demarcus back in the cash app. Says she looks like the cowardly lion uh, from Wiz, from the Wiz. <laughs> and he also come, he come back with one more. He says that's a damn burl, a boy girl. <laughs> a burl. It's unfortunate. It just what lesson to take from this? If this sister only does have an X chromosome, no Y chromosome present, then her presentation was was just bad because that's what we came up with. And here we go. We got some super chats, Mr. Walker. Shout out to my brother the beast. He says. I know that ain't donkey. <laughs> donkey. <laughs> That's the divine photos. Says her sister, her sister's brother, brother's sister's brother, sister's brother. This is so wrong and wild. <laughs> Shout out to the beast. Says this a reservist. Shame to our core. Who her SNCO? Don't know what the last part is. Okay. So she a reservist. <laughs> now we hating on the reservist. Shout out to the reservists. <laughs> well, there you know. <laughs> Appreciate you divine photos. Says everyone in ATL hunting and she not something off. 
Yeah. Is she an ATL? Yeah. Oh my God. Can we not do this? <laughs> or she said she like deep Georgia. She but near somewhere in Georgia, you know. Yeah, she close enough. Like little Nikki. Yeah. yeah, she said I'm off the uh, I'm in the country, Kendra. Or something she was saying. She said deep south. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Richard Media. Says it's the words and the cadence of speech this person uses as they speak. And the vocal pitch is a bit heavy and low for a bio female, for a biological female. I appreciate that analysis, Kylie. <laughs> Yo, cadence we and go. pitch. <laughs> we got right. both. We got voice analysis uh, <laughs> uh, technicians in the house. All right. Look, we we doing the work over here. Appreciate you. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby Vegas. Been supporting his interests all daggone day. He says it puts the lotion on the skin. Shout out to who's that? Buffalo Bill, Wild Bill, and <laughs> <laughs> appreciate your divine photos. Says that might be RuPaul Drag Race chick. It could be. It's given. It's given. <laughs> Shout out to the brother Jay Gray. How you doing, brother? Says her. I got two balls, Kendra. <laughs> all right. See, we'll keep it moving. Hit the oh, like button. Jay Gray. <laughs> he wasn't gonna let me down. <laughs> oh, Jay Gray, y'all so out of pocket. Jay, Jay Gray filled in for the brother Roosevelt <laughs> with the with the razor blades and gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Um, we're coming down the stretch. We got a couple bonquishas, and we're gonna end strong here. The feature, this is the one before the feature, I think. Because the feature is gonna be a hoot. I think we're going to tie the feature into last night's show. So it's going to be pretty neat here to see how that go. goes. Go. But in the meantime, here we go. Hit the Free like feature. button. This is better. What's your name, oh. love? I'm Shay, S-H-A-Y. Hey, and where do you live, honey? I'm uh, Baltimore, in Maryland. Baltimore? How old are you? I'm 37. 37, what you do for a living? I'm a medical assistant at um, a hospital down here at GBMC. Medical assistant. You have any kids? I, I do. I got a 13-year-old son. Okay. Okay. Have you ever been married? No. I've no. never been married. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got Shay, Baltimore, 37, Scorpio, medical assistant, mom to a 13-year-old, never married. What That's kind funny. of man you looking for, boo? Uh, I'm looking for um, a guy that's spiritual. So, you know, a guy that don't mind going to church and worshiping God. Um, I'm not a street runner. I don't like guys that's always in the street um, that don't mind a woman with a 13-year-old child. Um, I don't want a guy that lies that's just out the question um yeah i don't i don't know i'm not real like picky you know i just know what i don't like when i see it and those are the top things a liar and just somebody that is grounded spiritually okay what are your deal breakers <laughs> my deal breakers are um Somebody that don't have their own home, that don't drive. Um, I don't want a guy with more than two kids. Are you mean, men that don't have their own home or don't have cars? Well, it's a lot out here that, um, yeah, that don't, they, they like um, leech off of women. Yeah. Okay. They leech off of women. So, so no man like that. I don't want a man that leeches off of a woman. Fair no. enough. I want a man. Yeah, that's going to get up and work every day and um, somebody that I can basically grow with, you know, um, start a family with. I want, I want more kids. One more kids, almost 40. We are what we attract, especially in the current form. Like you can say, oh, you might have dated somebody 20 years ago and I was a different person. Granted, in your current form, no, you know, you are attracting D-boy nug nug. It's just you in Baltimore. Shout out to Baltimore. Shout out to Smoking Talk. I see y'all in the chat. This listen, uh. listen. I I appreciate the way she said it. She said, I need a guy that doesn't mind 
a 13 year old kid. Now, I like the fact that she said mine because nobody minds, you know, winning the lotto. Nobody minds being handed a million dollars, but you mind getting stung in the face by a wasp. You will mind, you know, saying somebody just randomly punching you in your forehead. And that's the equivalent to well, coming. Well, well, let me ask the single men in the chat what would it take, the single guys, what would it take for you to date a woman with children and be a stepfather? What are the parameters? What, you know, what, or is it just off the table? If it's off the table, say it's off the table, but, you know, if, what would it take? That's, I don't know. The, the single moms of yesteryear are gone. Like, that's the thing. Single motherhood has been warped. Single motherhood, a single moms came from being widowed, you know, stuff like stuff like that. Fairly innocent happenings. Like it's and that ain't the thing no more. These women out here just willy nilly being baby mamas. That's the thing. It's like it's like, okay. Oh, you was married and whatever he that's the best bet being a widow. That's the only way you're really going to get true honor from being a single mom, just being a widow. But like, ain't nothing you could do. He died. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nothing you could have done. But if you left them because y'all grew apart, they said, off the, I'm off the table. Ain't no way. Here we go. Not It can't be. It can't be off the table if if Sierra, Sierra found her man. Huh? Uh, Janae Aiko found her man. Meghan Markle found her man. Huh? <laughs> what? So I see y'all. Y'all got, you know, for the most part, I haven't seen my guy Leon said it's off the table. So it's off the table, folks. All right. I tried. One more kiss. Could he have kids already? He can, but, but like no more than like two. Okay. What's the age range you would date? You're 37. I'm 37. So um, my age range will be like my age and like 50 up to 50. Are you, you all the way to 50? I go to 50. 50 to me is not old. No, I don't think it's old, but you want to have kids too, right? I do, I do want to have kids. So, you know, um, yeah, I do. So <laughs> I, that's why I said my age and up to 50. I would date a 50 year old. Okay. Now, should he look a certain way? Yes. I'm really tall. I'm 5'11. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. I want a tall guy. Uh -huh. I do. Okay. Yes. Fair enough. I understand that. Shout out to my tall girls. I understand the desire to want to date a man taller than you. Yes. Uh, what about money? Do you make a certain amount of money? Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll say at least 50 or 60. Okay. A okay. year. 50 or 60. Okay. Should he be in Baltimore? No, you don't have to be in Baltimore. I like to travel. Okay. All right. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh, I think you just let me that. Okay, let me see. I think I can set my camera up. I know you told the girl you wanted to see her legs, but keep in mind, I'm like super, I'm tall, so. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm tall. So, Shay. T. Okay. Okay. Oh. Put your leg down. <laughs> So, <laughs> yes, yeah, she appears to be a heavier sister, huh? She's seven foot tall. She, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. She's six foot tall. Safe, she's six foot tall, and she, she just too big, man. It ain't no way around that. We're not. We're gonna keep. We sound like broken records. Don't care, cause y'all keep coming for big. She too big. Height is height. Ain't nothing you can do about that. Shout out to body positivity. She can't do nothing about being five foot eleven, i.e. six foot. But she can do something about being all blowed out the way she is. Trying to hike up that leg, showing them dark marks inside her thigh from chafing. It's just just do better, sisters, and get a better outcome. It's getting old. Real fast. <laughs> I, I know you told the girl you wanted to see her legs, but keep in mind I'm like super I'm tall, so okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I'm tall. So, 
Shay. That's two on eight. Like Scorpio. Okay. That's a big woman. That is a big woman. She ain't you why y'all do this to y'all selves? Y'all self-destructive at this point. I'm completely self-destructive. Look at the sister. She got a look going for her. She look a little exotic with the freckles. If yeah. she if she uh healthy eating two mile a day running sister, she a whole Amazonian queen out here. There you go. But, uh shout out to my girl, the black lamb. Make sure y'all go over and check Lamb's channel. A sister like her, I know my girl Lamb over there doing her nutrition and stuff. Y'all women, go over there. We might have to um, start tagging Lamb to the live. Y'all can go over there and get some nutrition facts for real. Man. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's, it's your best bet. Today's modern woman cry for whatever she want. E equality, help. She want male helpmates and partners. Lose, lose the weight, get fit and feminine, and guess what? You got a better shot at getting that sick hoodoo you desire. But being blowed out, they're going to keep coming here and sit with the same cry. He got to have a job. He got to have his own car. He can't be mooching off of me, busting down my couch. That's what you qualify for when you 280, 280 pounds. <laughs> and she's going to put that big old leg up. You know, as a man, you in there, you gotta hold that leg up for come on now, your biceps, your triceps, your back. After a night with her, you're gonna feel like you did a damn uh what's that called? The um crossfit. You done did yeah, a whole crossfit. crossfit. <laughs> you did. Yeah, you're gonna feel like you did a whole crossfit competition after a 20 minute session with her. If so. y'all ain't never did CrossFit before, listen here. I didn't play football, firefighting, MMA. CrossFit will test your manhood, <laughs> man. I tell you that. Last time I did CrossFit, my hands was bleeding. I was questioning whether or not I wanted to see another day. It's rough. And this is the here. That's it. She a whole CrossFit se session. And and if you don't, here we go. The burden of melanated men. If you don't perform like Wesley Pipes in the bedroom with her, she gonna be like, "Are oh, you weak?" You can handle all this. You're a weak ninja. You're over here sweating. You done dislocated a disc. Your, your rotator cuff dislodged. And she over talking about you like, I gave y'all I got bone quiche. God, dog. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. So, Shay. Shay yes. Baltimore 37. Scorpio, okay. When was your last relationship? Uh Two years ago. Two years ago. Don't cut your head off. I'm sorry. All right. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? The last time I was intimate was over a year ago. Okay. Um, uh, you whispering, is your, is your daughter close no, 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 no. Last, I just got like real like shy. But oh, like okay. over a year, okay. over a year ago. Okay. was my last intimate. What are three flaws you have to work on? <laughs> Three flaws that I have to work on is um, I, I I tend to um, I tend to keep my walls up a lot. So like it's, it's really hard for a person to even like try to penetrate to the real me because I, I I keep my walls up a lot because I've been misled a lot and I've been hurt in a few situations. Um, uh, communication. Um, I don't know if it's just me being a Scorpio, but I'm real like secretive with a lot of things. I don't like to just come out and say things, which is like kind of bad. It, it's like it it holds me back a lot. Um, and um, my attitude. Your attitude. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Mm -hmm. He will be lucky to be me because I am very loyal. You know, um, I'm the type that is going to stick by my significant other, especially if we're like that. Like, I'm going to I'm going to ride with you. Um, I cook really well. Uh, I keep the house up to par. Um, I'm a hard worker. I, I work a lot um, and I'm a great mother. Okay, let's do it. We got Shay Baltimore 37, 
Scorpio medical assistant, 13 year old daughter, right? Son. So, He's the, oh, the, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. And she wants more kids. She wants more kids. I do. Um, so they fit, uh, make 50 to 60K. Yeah. And let's see what it does. How could the guy reach out to you, boo? Um, he, they can hit me up on my Instagram. Um, it's Freckle Face Goddess. It's F R E C K E L underscore face F A S C E goddess g o d d e s s kind of okay and you want the guy to be tall too he, at least six feet bare at least. five i'm eleven i'm five eleven yeah okay, so i mean you. like i'm not gonna discriminate on you guys that's not six feet either you know but that's just my preference that's her preference all right yeah. mama let's see what it does keep me posted boo yes ma'am bye kendra i love you i love, love you so much. baby so let us know, squeegee kid. Let us know what it's looking like over there. Um, where we at with this sister? She she gotta lose some weight. Y'all should be on the show. This is what I was saying about big messy Tessie yesterday. Present your best self to the market. You shouldn't even be, you can't demand, request, none of that. If you you just can't. No, just take a minute and imagine if sisters like this. Didn't come on in this condition. Took six months. Six months. Got hardcore in the gym. And then came up here presenting something desirable to most men. The temperature would be much different. But she came up here pleasantly blowed out. Talking about she mean, aggressive, and damn near six foot tall. 300 pounds. That's that's a no. That's a, that's a failure in the dating market. And a kid. And she got a what fifteen year old son, and yeah, he gonna fight you about his mama. I would <laughs> in Baltimore. Like I said, shout out to Baltimore, but it, a lot of places in the country we know are rough, right? And we mm. know we could all be products of our environment. It's just is what it is. So I see some of y'all in the beginning said she looked like she could fight and all that. It's Baltimore, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. So listen here to keep it a buck. To some degree, just how we. Say to some degree we are what we attract, if not wholeheartedly. Same thing with your environment. To some degree, we all are a product of our environment. It's impossible to get a Gavin X or Mr. Walker to be up here acting like some point Dexter when we come from where we come from. We can't act like we from somewhere else. You can't do it. You know, and same thing with her. She a woman, but guess that she's still most likely from the hood of B more. You're gonna get what you're gonna get. That part. So here we go. Um, we got that one. All right. Got that one. I'm trying to see where we left off at. We got, got that, that one. Holy <laughs> hell. I think that's the last one. <laughs> Shout out to the young Marine, the beast. Come through with the 20 ball. We appreciate you. He says, not a skip or tithe, but a tip. Single by choice in the chat. It was fun yet insightful. However, I got to protect this country tomorrow, unlike the reservists. Also train with my personal trainer, which is myself. Love your show and laughs. Shout out to the young Marine protecting the country as we speak. That's what I'm talking about. Blessings, respect, and love to your brother. Stay safe. Well, stay, dangerous. Part. stay dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Divine Photos. Says, looking at the BMI, she obese for her height. Yeah. <laughs> BMI, ladies. Hell. Yeah, I don't need no BMI. I need my eyeballs. <laughs> I need my EYE. Huh? I need no damn BMI. I eyes can see. That's it. That's it. That, yeah, she most likely ain't on the chart. Shoot, to be a hundred. She <laughs> Shout out to Stevie D. Appreciate you. He says, and she wants to birth another child. Yes, she do. <laughs> she will. <too. laughs> Shout out to the Silver Bell. Come through. Says, shoulders like bowling balls. She a big sister. <laughs> Appreciate your divine photos. Come through the $2. Says, she's a light-skinned Rikishi. Rikishi. <laughs> <laughs> With freckles. Shout out to Crazy Days. He says, imagine coming home from work 
walk into the front door and get dunked on on one of them small hoops because she want to be goofy that day and knock you over, give you a concussion. Now you got CTE because she want to be goofy. It's unfortunate. <laughs> and a woman like her, I know a lot of times we get pushback when these women say, I need a big guy, but her, you absolutely got to be 6'3", 250 plus. Yeah, you got to be, because otherwise she most likely going to man woman handle you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Classy Perspective. He says, she's a double negative. <laughs> Appreciate you, skinny boy. Says, all right, fellas, Cheeto head Hannah or Liz No. I love it, name. You are defeated. Uh, shoot. Shoot. I'm going to go with Liz No. Yeah, Liz No. Big, big, yeah. big Amazonian six footer. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the bad photos. He comes to with a stat here. It says, 15% of men are six foot tall. But for black men, it's low. Yeah, see, that's fifty percent of all men are six foot tall. Do y'all do y'all not understand how y'all just be doing and dying with y'all? It's crazy. Shout out to the brother Q. He says, "Y'all wish Tanya a happy birthday." We did happy birthday, Tanya. We are yes. We are yeah, everybody in the chat, make sure y'all wish Tanya a happy birthday. Indeed. Appreciate your brother Bobby Vegas come through with that three yo four. Says she a nuggle magnet. Yeah, tall, blowed out. So unfortunate. A kid. So this sister here, she she crossed the gun line. We're gonna send her up the Glaze Galaxy. Uh, oh, she a big one. But yeah, that's where she go. <laughs> we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. We may not know which way to go. Oh, no, I see this shit is going to be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. And no exception to the rule. Listen, baby. You hear me? I played the fool for a fool. Over. So here we go. We gonna get to this feature lady here. Finish tonight out, and like I said, we were up here last night talking about, you know, who married this woman, Messa Tessa, and we got more of these delusional women coming up here. So, hit the like button, folks. I forgot about that. Yeah, Messi Tessie started the whole movement. Messi Tessie up here talking about who the f did I marry, and now Bonquisha up here because she ain't married. Bonquisha ain't getting married, so Bonquisha like, okay, I'm gonna put a spin on it. Who the F did I have a baby by? Sick. <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button, folks. You got to get situated. You ready, baby girl? Are you seeing me? See. Okay. So stay like this, okay? What's your name? Vanessa. Vanessa, where are you calling us from? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. How old are you? I'm 30 years old. 30. What do you do for a living, Vanessa? I work as a postal worker. Post also work mm -hmm. on. Do you have any kids? A daughter. How old is your daughter? She's eight years old. Eight years old. Have you ever been married? No. Never. What's your zodiac sign? A cancer. Cancer. All right. We got Vanessa, Massachusetts, 30, excuse me, 30 years old, cancer, postal worker, daughter to eight year old, never married. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Okay. So, Kendra, I'm not really picky. Just don't be a legion, you know, or a whatever. Legion, oh, that. legion from yeah. TikTok. Yeah. So and what, what are some of the things that legion had that you do not want? Everything. I don't want to be test driving cars all weekend. I don't want to be looking at houses with no, you know, perspective of getting anything. But, you know, just someone that's a family person. So we're going to stop. We're going to stop. 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 This woman just came up here. If y'all didn't catch that, she said she don't want no legion. That is Tessa's boyfriend. Kendra said, what kind of man are you looking for? She said, well, hell, don't send me no legions. Are you applying, you applying less pressure than Tessa? Hell, I would say, I would say Messa Tessa is applying more pressure than this woman. Yeah. Slightly, it's, it's like yeah. a half a PSI 
It's like a but it's there. Beer inside, but it's beer. It's, it's there. there. It's barely measurable, but it's there. <laughs> cause, cause one thing, Messi Tessie, I'm, I'm for sure that's a woman. The contestant on the screen when she initially came up, I I did have questions, concerns, as far as you know, you know, gender, cause sheesh. What's that dude name that was on Blackish? What's his name? The uh, little comedian. God uh, dang it, Anthony Anderson. Anthony Anderson. Yeah, yeah, it's him. For he lost the weight. Yeah. And and I, that's just unfortunate that he's giving Anthony Anderson. It really, really is. Yeah. And so let, let here we go though. And she Lee John. Is this dude named Legion or Lee John? <laughs> Nevertheless. I like Legion, <laughs> but she got the nerve. She got the cojones. I'm like, I ain't picky, but don't send me no Legion. You know, uh-uh. Don't be up here taking me to test drive cars and look at houses. Don't worry. Ain't nobody going to take you to do none of that. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, man. Hit the like button. I got to hear that again. Same. I don't want to be 30 years old, cancer, postal worker, daughter to eight-year-old, never married. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Okay, so Kendra, I'm not really picky. Just don't be a Legion, you know? A or whatever. Legion, like oh, Legion from yeah. TikTok. Yeah. So um, what, what are some of the things that Legion has that you do not want? Everything. I don't want to be test driving cars all weekend. I don't want to be looking at houses with no, you know, perspective of getting anything, but you know, just someone that's a family person and available emotionally and, you know, stable. Yeah. Kids are okay. Can I say this? And I have to go through the whole, she's talking about the very popular Who the F Did I Marry uh, 50 part series on TikTok. I have been shown this. People have been sitting. What's going on, Vanessa, honey? Oh, sorry. <laughs> are you ready, honey? Yes. So just to give a backstory so i haven't seen all videos yet but people have been telling me i need to interview this girl bring her on the live i have watched i want to say part one and in part one she says she met him on a dating app and then they they matched on two dating apps but on one of the other dating apps he had a different name so here's how you don't end up with a lesion pay attention to the first red flags like if you go through this there were so many moments when you should have jumped shit or stopped talking to him. So all the women are saying, don't be a lesion. Maybe y'all just start honoring red flags so you won't have to worry about a man being a lesion. Vanessa, why you keep laughing and bringing the camera away from your face, honey? It's the comments. What are they saying? Oh my God. Mm -mm. They stomping her out. They river dancing on her. They in the comments, everybody river dancing on her face. They just in there, doop, 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 doop. She in, and then, and Kendra lied. Kendra gonna say the number one way not to get a lead on is to, no, is to lose some damn weight. Don't be walking around her 300 pounds is the number one way not to attract a lead on. I concur. Talk to him, the beast. If you are big, if you are big, blowed out, unsightly, Wigs, eyelashes, fake baby hairs, yada, yada, freaking yada. You are low-hanging fruit to the Lee Johns of the world. Acknowledge that, accept it, and move accordingly. But no, Bon Christian, like, I shouldn't only attract Lee Johns because I want to look the way I want to look. Why is that? That's not fair. <laughs> Man, yeah. Here we go. This is delusional. Are you ready, Vanessa? Honey? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm okay, ready, okay. Kendra. I'm here. All yeah. right. Don't be shy. Really Do you have any more things you desire? You know, honestly, it's just that the entire person, you know, no one's perfect, but just be real. Be for real. Like, you know, okay. Big on family and stuff like that. Okay. Um, what what um oh. what are your deal breakers? Oh my, my god. Too many kids and different baby mamas. Too many kids and different baby mamas. Yeah. Okay. Lies. And stuff okay. Like that. 
So many kids from baby mamas. Um, could he have any kids? Yeah, sure. That's nice for me. All right. Um, should he look a certain way? Oh, it must be, you know, hygiene is everything. Hygiene and all that hygiene? stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hygiene, hygiene. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So have no, good, smell good. No, I'm Jamaican. I'm not Brazilian or any of that. I'm Jamaican. What I can cook. Cook, yeah, I can cook. Tell them, girl. Don't wash the finger wave, you know. What's happening? Are you responding to the comment section? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? Okay, <laughs> girl, don't pay that on mine right now. Let, let's keep going. Yeah. Um, should the guy should the guy look a certain way? Honestly, no. I I really I've given up on Jamaicans, so I don't want no Jamaicans. You're just mm -mm. Jamaican yourself. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you want any Jamaican men? Oh my God, they're brutal. They're brutal. What's so most, brutal about Jamaican men? Most of them, you know, like so, the red flags are all over. They're always with drama. We love them, but I don't think I'll date another Jamaican. They don't want you either. She's sitting here talking about red flags as if she ain't a big walking 300 pound red flag. Hmm. Yeah, listen here. Shout out to my Jamaican brothers. Them Jamaican brothers don't play that. Yeah. This year they is. Yeah, they are. They barbaric. They ain't playing with you, Bone Creature. They're gonna look you right in your face and tell you what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't go together. But bend over and let me clap cheeks or get out my face. That bees about it. And and, <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, Jamaican men ain't into eating no kuda kata. That's a no-no. That's something they ain't going to do. And I remember talking to one of the Jamaican brothers back in college. He said, ain't no food down there, man. Ain't no. <laughs> and a woman this size, I would say there's not a man on the face of the globe that wanted to eat her kuda kata. When it comes to her, no men eat kuda kata. They just like, I don't. Me, me no eat kuda kata. Me no. Me no. No kuda kata eat for her. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, me no, me no Ikuna kinda. So there we go, man. Um appreciate your crazy days. Come back through. Says she looked like D Lo Brown. D Lo Brown, the baddest man in the whole white town. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Project Leroy. Says Anthony Anderson from, from Romeo Must Die. Yep, test driving yeah. Lamborghini with DMX. <laughs> you know what I'm this is terrible. <laughs> Shout out to Jay Gray here. He come with his razor blades. Says she got MMA fighter Bob Saps fight. <laughs> <laughs> she giving some wild energy right she now. She giving Bob Saps. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to G Honda and his subpar journalism. He comes through and says, Why is Cam Hayward on the screen? Mm -hmm. The season mm -hmm. over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she give a big case. This is terrible. This is terrible. These comparisons. Oh. We got we got that one with Jay Gray. Oh, oh he said he said I meant to type I meant to type Bob Sapp's face. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Shout out to the silver bell. Come through. He said, "Is it me or is Kendra nicer to the pretty girls?" S stop. Yes. Pretty girls get treated different. Oh, the so, world. Yeah, I wouldn't say Kendra. I would say all of us. I know all of us. Everybody. No, no one's excluded. Y'all have seen it. Pretty women get treated different and have some men get treated different by women. It's, it's and not necessarily pretty like you got to be 10 in the face, just fit. When we say yep. pretty, fitness is probably more than the face, if you will. Yes, so. yes. Fit and feminine. That's going to get you treated very nice. <laughs> there you go. Shout out to Divine Photos. Says, get the feeling uh, she a sucker and Nug Nug will run circles around her no matter what culture he from. Uh, and a lot of people in the chat be like, oh, y'all mean. You know, well, the maybe. reason is for lived experiences, most times the big sisters are more brutish and mean. Not mm -hmm. all. Obviously, there's some that's nice, but men ain't taking that chance, so they like... No. I will never forget waiting in the line. And I was embarrassed, but I was in the line that crumbled, the cookie place, and I was waiting in line, and I'm in line with, you know, people, and it was about a, a slew of women in front of me. 
none of them were melanated. And they was just sitting there having a pleasant conversation. I'll never forget. I ain't paying attention to it, but I did notice a melanated sister start walking in our direction. And she cut through the line on her phone, cussing loudly, like made everybody uncomfortable. And at that point, I'm sitting there and I'm embarrassed. I'm like, I'm like, why is it always our melanated people got to just be so brutish? And it's typically the sisters. There's an epidemic going on, man. I'm tired of being out there in public, coming across my my female, my female counterpart, my melanated sisters, that y'all brutish, aggressive, and unpleasant to be around. Like just just be quiet till you go home. We cuss inside your house. And I see my guy Project Leroy. He says, false. The face have to look good too. I do not agree, Project Leroy. If the face is half decent and the body is on point, she gonna get treated a certain way. Like you said, yes. that's what's wrong with the dating market now. Most men, she gotta be 10 to face, 10 to body, you know, feminine. Fit. We y'all living in a fantasy world. Project Leroy, listen, we want y'all to get exactly what y'all want. Going out there and get the best of the best. At the same time, we got to do y'all service and come with what we got. The fat chance finding these tens all around and they're going to be pleasant, cooperative, and submissive. No, they know who they are in the marketplace and they're going to ride. They pretty privilege out until they 30. Then they come back to you. <laughs> Here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in, folks. We're going to let her land this plane. Honestly. <laughs> Okay, so no Jamaican men. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's keep going. Uh, what about money? Should the guy make a certain amount of money? You know what? Teamwork makes the dream work. I'm not looking for a specific figure, but you should be able to support yourself financially. Okay. Be able to support yourself financially. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Vanessa, Massachusetts, 30, cancer, postal worker, um, has an eight-year-old daughter. Let's do the Kendra Cam, honey. <sighs> Murder! <laughs> Kendra! <laughs> oh no, let me fix the camera, Kendra. Just give me. I'm at work, people. Don't kill me. We gotta see your legs, honey. Oh, are you seeing me? Wait, bring the camera down. You said you're at work? Yeah. <laughs> we got. Yeah, I got a passport, so that's okay. What happened? She told me, she told no, me I'm, I'm responding to the comments. They asked if I have a passport. No, I'm not looking a green card. No. Vanessa, we got to see your legs, honey. Oh. Oh, oh, oh okay. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to let it ride. No <laughs> worries. We're going to let it ride. We're going to let it ride, child. Mm -hmm. Vanessa, when was your last relationship? Vanessa, stop worrying about the comments. I have to see your face, honey, okay? What okay. was your last relationship, honey? Like eight months ago. Eight months ago. You don't yeah. have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was in? Eight months someone? ago. Okay. Uh, three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. Com communication. Um, I don't have a lot to work on. Just communicate. Yeah. You only have one yeah. flaw. Yeah, probably. Just one. That's it. Probably. Yeah. You can't think of any more? No, not really. So other than communication, you're perfect. I'm not perfect. Then what are the other three, what are the other two things that wouldn't consider you to be perfect? Mm -mm. I really can't think about anything else right now. Okay. Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm naturally a caring person. And you know, I'm a Cancerian, so that says a lot. Okay. No, I don't lack the ability to focus, honey. Are you sure? Because you keep focusing on the comments instead of your moment to present yourself to the world. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's do it. What's the age range you would date? You're 30? 32 and above. Should he be? Huh. This is it. And she got a kid. I guess that went over all her. It really don't matter. Yeah. She is a single mom on top of all her other issues. Yeah, oh. she like what what's her age? She like 27. Not sure. 
It really don't she, matter. She ain't th- don't, see, that's the thing. She ain't even 30. She ain't even she 30. looking like the thing off of um, what's that movie? The damn uh galaxy, the guardians of the galaxy. What's uh, the damn tree thing? What's that the big thing off of Groove? Crew, 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 yeah, you like crew off Guardian of the Galaxies, folks. Yeah, boom, oh, man. I hate this for this sister. She came up here halfway feminine, you know. Like, shout out to the Jamaican sisters, man. You know, like she, your group. <laughs> See, that ain't good. Should be referenced to group. <laughs> but <laughs> well, she was up here halfway feminine. <laughs> it's unfortunate that she so completely and utterly oh. blowed out. You know, I'm going to say that perhaps she do got some kind of thyroid issue, you know, because we see this around our hood a lot. You know, sisters like this, they be blowed out, pie face, and they get the dark spots on their cheek from the bad blood flow. Like, we was brutish in school with that. I was bad. I ain't even going to say what we, what they, I didn't call it, <laughs> I wasn't calling nobody nothing, but there was names for these people. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. She just too big. I, I, we sound like broken records, but y'all should be getting. She too big. Everybody too big. Lose some damn weight. Uh, uh, this is bad. This is so bad. Ah, it's the date market. I feel bad for y'all single guys out there, man. Goodness gracious. This is. This is it. This is what y'all. Yeah, y'all talking about. Gotta have pretty face. Tight body. Good luck. Go find it. Just good luck. Good luck. You're going to have to dig deep. Y'all ain't going to, y'all not going to find these women and men y'all desire, men and women. Y'all not going to find y'all desire counterparts just going to work and going home. That's what you ain't going to do. We all, it appears that most single people out there looking for diamonds in the rough, looking for buried gems, needles and haystacks, if you will. And and y'all not gonna find them by mistake. You got to be intentional. Shout out to the Godfather. Go out into the street where the work is real. Go out mingle with folks. All right. Ooh. Not the and not the bar and club. So shout out to Richard Media come through with the twenty dollars. Money, 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 money. And money. Project Leroy caught the law. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. And it's over. <laughs> Pass caught and dunk for the win. Game blouses. Uh-huh. <laughs> Shout out to the squeegee kid. Says age 30, one kid, postal worker. Can we get this one? Shout out to Divine Photos. Says get the feeling she a sucker and nug nug run circles around her. Yeah, we got that one. Okay. Money, 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 money. Appreciate your project, Leroy. Says Gavin next, the face and body has to match. We don't do mismatches. No man wants to wake up to Ron Simmons, Farouk, the next morning. <laughs> yeah. Granted, well, hold we- on. Yeah. Two things. There we go. This is a good learning lesson for us all. And this moment, now we sounding like Bonquisha. Because we obviously ain't saying she, we said average in the face. This is like Bonquisha when she come up here and say, well, he ain't got to take me to Dubai or nothing. He ain't got to buy me red bottoms. We ain't exaggerating that far. She going to be something tolerable to look at. But yes. the, you see what I'm saying? We can't live in the land of extremes is what I'm saying. So obviously go. she ain't going to look like Farouk. I would hope not. But she ain't going to be, she's not going to be a runway model. So you see how those are two extremes? You got to meet somewhere in the middle now. <laughs> That's all. Come on, man. <laughs> Uh, that part. <laughs> unless, unless it's one caveat. Unless you are one of these guys, this is the only time, Project Leroy. If if you one of these guys, Mister Zero Point uh, One Zero Zero One, <laughs> you know they get the tens in the face, tens in the bodies. Regular guys, you consider yourself lucky if you do. But there you go, and understand they, they how, demand it. They and understand how these particular men come across these IG model type women. They are in these places via work. They're not just going places. They in places, being productive, being resourceful. And these caliber women are nearby. They see Mr. Mr. 0.0001% doing his thing. 
And there, that's it. Ain't much chasing going on, is what I'm saying. So you just got to put yourself in position if that's really what y'all are looking for. And good luck and Godspeed. <laughs> so here we go. Uh... Shout out to Joker Nutty Nate, one of the Lord's special babies. He says six foot, seven foot, eight foot tall. <laughs> six foot, seven foot, eight foot punch. <laughs> Shout out to Cole Sounds. Appreciate you. Says fun fact. Nobody works harder than Jamaican women. It's not uncommon for them to have two to three jobs. That's a fact. Shout out to my wife. When I met my wife, she had two jobs. <laughs> Man. Shout out to Squeegee Kid. Says winter storm warning in full effect. <laughs> that part. Shout out to the Silver Bell. Says bet she can hit the A gap like a mama jamma. Perhaps. No, she, she can't. No, she can't. We talked about this last we episode. Did. We did. I, I got to start correcting y'all at every turn. She can't. She ain't hit no gap. She is in the gap on defense in the three-point stands. Yeah, yeah. We be sitting up here talking about these women are linebackers, fullbacks, and now we saying running backs. No. no. When last time y'all seen a running back? These, these, these men have six packs. Yes. Yeah, running backs take the worst beatings on the field. And, yeah, they all muscle lean and mean. Yeah, she done – forget a three. She in a four-point stance. Listen, she on her – she on her – palm of her hands and her knees. She down low. She just clogging gaps. That's all she got. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, she ain't hit nobody's A gap, respectfully. She is on the line, all right? Ha hands in the dirt. Dirt, dirt. <laughs> she getting her hands dirty, not her face. She getting them hands dirty though, for sure. So, mm, 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 mm. so as far as she go, what are we doing with this sister? Can she fit in the sub? Yeah, she Glaze Galaxy says she's not welcome. They don't have a place up there for her specific type. So, but the bioluminescence welcomes all. Okay. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah. Mm. All right. So it was a long night, but it wasn't so bad, Mr. Walker. Um, compared to like our last four or five shows, this was a I feel at ease. Yeah, this was light right. work. Light work. You know, uh, no gatekeepers up here coming out with crazy venom, no wild, crazy, uh, four for four, seven for seven stories. This was light work, and yeah. still yet, not not one eligible woman apparently. So, yeah, still rough. <laughs> Y'all some tough critics, but nevertheless, all is fair in the sexual date market. You guys are a reflection of the date market. So if y'all say it's all garbage. We got to just take down data and statistics. All right. Everything garbage. Good mm. luck. Good luck. And shout out to Mass Man says Penny from Good Times Arrested Development. All mm. right. And who else? We got a couple cash apps. Shout out to Andre. Andre come through in the cash app. He says shout out to Single by Choices. We appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. And where we at? Sergeant Brandon Man. Sergeant Brandon Man come through with the five dollars. Says this young boy is a D one offensive lineman. At the least D two. <laughs> and Sergeant Brandon, he come back through. He says, "Why do the big girls ask? Can you see me?" Shaking my head. Can you? Yeah, do the Kendra camp. Can you see me, Kendra? We can't see you. miss you. Can't miss. In fact. Not only can we miss, she almost escaped. Get her, Mucho. Damn. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you? 
So here we are. Um, we're on the end. I tell you what, we got about three minutes, and we're gonna make the most out of it, and we're gonna bring Big Dime to the stage. I uh, hate. Hey. Bring her now, out. Bring her Dime, out. She got. I want to say she got a new house. I don't know much. I ain't been keeping up with Dime. I ain't gonna hold y'all, but I did see that part. So let me <laughs> see if we can catch it. Listen. The, the saga that is the Braca, the epic saga and tales and cracky tales of the Braca are amazing. The Braca done been out here. I like to highlight the Braca's lowest point. Sorry. The Braca out here peeing in pools. She out here throwing dogs in the pool. She out here up in the poles on her kids. She out here condemning her kids, threatening them with deletions, you know, popping pills. All the above, you know, hunching on, hunching on broke barbers. I forgot about that. I, listen here. I feel like we need to have a whole DeBronca exorcism like series because I feel like they lost in these in our premieres, man. The exorcisms were amazing. They were amazing. I miss the exorcisms. <laughs> and Dom got a card now. It's a lot. I can't, I don't, it's too hard to keep up with Dime anymore. I love it. I love like back, it. Back then she would go live like two, three times a day. Now she will go live 10, 12 times a day, like nonstop. Can nobody Ramping keep up with that? It's like you have to watch her all day long. Ramping up. Come on, the Braca. The Braca, it's a roller coaster with her. Like she'll be down when she down, she up in the pole. She threatening everybody and their mama. She threatened to put her daughter's dirty underwear on Facebook. All that. But when times is up, she done got her house, a car, most likely a job. Now it's praise the Lord. Won't he do it? He an on-time God. But as soon as it started to plateau and started to go back down that hill, she'd be cussing and condemning again up in the pole. <laughs> Just watch. So here we go. I can't find it, but we'll bring her out still. I can't find the video I'm looking for. She got so many channels, man. It's hard, like I said, it's too hard to keep up with her. She got like five pages and no telling. She, uh, she is mystic, mythical. The mythical but creature. We'll check out her latest live, which was just like an hour ago. Let's see what Dime up to. Got we'll it. check in with her fresh. She just got her hair done. I know that. She just got her hair. She going blind. She dyed her hair blind. She drinking that beer. Hey. Holy hell. That's her daughter. That, so that's her and Ebony. Oh, my God. Ebony dyed her hair blonde, too. Yeah. <laughs> I got to put on my, my senior specs for this. Hold up. That's her and Ebony. Just stop. Ebony Everybody just gave stop. birth. Ebony just gave birth. Ebony got like four. I think Ebony four for four. Diamond got six kids by six men. That's her daughter, Ebony, behind her doing her hair. I think Ebony got four kids by four men, so she trending. Well, let me take my time with this. Now, <laughs> the Braca, this is, this is passing down generational curses in full display. The mama six for six, the daughter four for four. They, they, these two, they have threatened each other worse than I have seen men threaten one another. I'm talking about up in the pole, you about to see Jesus, probably drive-bys, gonna post your dirty, crunchy underwear on Facebook. Egregious behaviors. And now she, I'm doing my mama's hair. They both blonde, looking like road warriors off of Mad Max. They look like they drink gasoline and play pool all day. So here we go. I'm going to let this go for a minute. You hear him. Scott, come here. She said hi. Come here, babe. And she's still up in there with her baby daddy. You can't make this up. So if y'all keeping up, y'all remember Dime called the police on her baby daddy. They was all about to shoot it out. And no, her baby daddy, I took the kids, remember? And Dime was like, bring my grandkids back. And he ran off with the kids. And it was a and whole she deal. threatened to end his life. She threatened to end everybody's life. And they all back in this 
hood house listening to drill music. It's tax time. They all up. So it's a good time for them. It's a good, it's 10 kids between them. It's a good time. All right. 10 kids. Or at he least about six of them they can claim. At least about six. So what are we looking at? They got at least ten thousand dollars. Yeah, they chilling. <laughs> they chilling. And Diamond Daughter Ebony just got that settlement. What for like fifty racks, twenty racks for the car accident, and she spent seventeen thousand on that charger. You know. Does she still got the charger? I don't know. Okay, I hate I hate it here. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, me. Damn. Right. In the morning. Okay. I can't do the music, obviously. So that's Dow getting her hair done. This is her after. Living like a damn gypsy. All right. All right, Dom. You stop. You stop it, Diamond. Huh? Hell. She, oh, my Lord. I don't know what y'all thought was going to happen. Huh? Y'all thought she wasn't going to start shaking that ratchet, raunchy tail? That's what y'all thought? I seen it come. That's why I looked it away. Nah. <laughs> How ratchet can you get? Blonde braids all down her back, down to her crack, and now she's just going. How long? How long before the tip of them braids? They always in the crack of her ass. So how long before they smell like where they at? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do I can't it. Just believe she just can't. did that. You, you right, can't. Now. What you mean you can't Let's believe? See if I can I, ask for this a little bit. Or for the course. Look at her. Shaking that funky kitty cat. <laughs> the turkey spirit came upon her. Oh. Very. It's very tight. Hurt like hell. Be messier than me. I pulled me in into this week coming up. That is hurt. Yes, it do. She hurt it. Ooh. Ooh, it looked tight as heck. Grip my thoughts. I, I know. know. <laughs> he said she You're doing it on purpose. Yeah. Purpose. Her ish. I, look, she had everybody take that out. She can't sleep. I know she oh. can't. Hey, Rose, her head on fire. Listen, I know it. Listen, here, my wife do my hair. She keep up with my head. And every now and again, she'd be yanked. I'd be like, come on now. I know I got a big old hard head, but come on. I cut this ish off. <laughs> yanking on it. <laughs> yeah, so that's big dime. I'm already disgusted when she starts twerking, so I'm over it at this point. But here y'all go. I was trying to find a video. Like I said, she she had just got into her house, and it was hilarious. But I can't find it. So. Man. Big the braca, baby. Act like you didn't know. As soon as she turned her rear to the camera. I said, she going to twerk it out right quick. I knew the, I knew the spirit was going to overtake her. <laughs> we didn't. All right. We were can't surprised. Feel it. You can't, can't feel that twerk demon in the air? <laughs> and she talking about she doing something with Amazon now. I don't know if she getting like some kind of Amazon store or something she was talking about. I don't know. She drop shipping. <laughs> That's every, yeah. The drop shipping hustle. Good luck. So, she, was she in the shower? Oh, yeah, all the way. Oh, and lead the roots. Does the, the roots. Now I've got good hair. That's that Indian. Changed. Don't don't. But don't, it's don't. not Indian. <laughs> Indian. That's barbaric. You know, to, I'm trying. It's fine, John. 
<laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Real motherfucking talk. They can talk all they motherfucking want to me. It feels some kind of way. And she, bitch, you don't want to get dragged by me. I'm telling you. You better go on. <laughs> Now I'm look like she about to say, and there's diamond in the temptations. Hell, <laughs> no, I think this is. <laughs> uh, ain't right down here, diamond. She, you can't tell her she don't look so good, so so beautiful. Can't tell her. This is madness. This blonde hair. <laughs> All right, y'all. I don't know what to say. Uh, again. I, I hate it. I, the Rock always leave me speechless. She undefeated. <laughs> she definitely is. So it's big time. Hey. Bitch, I'm letting, I'm letting you see my natural motherfucking hair, bitch, too. You know what I'm talking about? Bitch, and we see your natural ass bald head. So, bitch, fuck you. Naturally. Big fish say you naturally motherfucking ugly and you is a bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Like, bitch, you just naturally motherfucking ugly bitch. And it's right. You ain't got no motherfucking family, bitch. You ain't even got a face that a mother could motherfucking love, bitch. One thing about Diamond and Mucho, them trolls, y'all don't want to go over there trolling. They're going to give it to you. Right? Yes, they they live for the trolls. <laughs> And my girl Mucho been in jail. Mucho been in Facebook jail for the last 30 days. So Mucho been zero dark 30. I'm sure she's miserable. She ain't got a thousand pages like Diamond. Mucho don't do all that. It's just the mm. one page. And if it shut down, Mucho done. Dang. See, Mucho in bad shape. See, the Braca, the Braca got her all oh, her bases covered. You can shut down one, two, three of her pages. She still got somewhere to go live and act oh. a whole buffoon. And that's what's amazing. No matter that's what, at some point, the Brock is gonna go live, and we're gonna experience her demise. It's only a matter of time. That's my whole point in this. This this doesn't end with a happily ever after. This don't end with the Brock in a rocking chair, you know, with her kids and grandkids around her fading into black. No, it's gonna end with a whole lot of gangish. Guaranteed. <laughs> So it's big dime for y'all who don't know. You know what I'm talking about, bitch. Your eyes droopy, bitch. Your nose long, bitch. And you bald headed, bitch. That's a deadly ass motherfucking combination, bitch. You him. You wish you can conjure up some motherfucking hair out of your mother, out of that big ass spatula on your motherfucking head, bitch. Fuck you, hoe. What's the thing with her nose? A motherfucking hair, motherfucking ass, to a motherfucker. Oh. Fucking ass. Oh, <laughs> every time I fast forward it like three minutes, that's where it's picking up with her cussing. <laughs> Specifically dropping the F bomb. With the F and that. With the F. F and just say F bomb. To me, bitch, you know, B, you got you strong Duke having ass hoe. You strong leg, strong Duke having ass hoe. You strong leg, strong Duke. On a man playing a couple mother. You hear me? You got a strong Okay, dick. 20 more minutes to take y'all ass to bed. Go on, come up out them clothes. Come here. Oh, he looks so cute. He hair cut hair. Got to my bare hair, tight hair. Easy. you all. So that should be a pet peeve for you all the time. You should not never want to come in here. We ain't gonna miss you neither. Look at the Braca. Tell me what you looking at. That ain't human. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Look at her. Look at her. The good Lord did not intend for us to behave in such a manner. Look at that. That is that is that's what is it that's <laughs> to me this is lucifer mocking the good lord how does how does the devil mock god by by perverting his greatest creation humans i'll leave it at that <laughs> so effortlessly 
Look at her. Is she chewing like that? Lord have mercy, we would have been fucked up. If, if Lord have mercy, if I had a shade and, you know, if I was just faint, didn't take no bath around about goddamn wet. What time? Round my shit. I took a bear around by one or two. I want to take a bear, though. But if I was faint, Lord have mercy, we'd be fucked up without no water. I'm glad that I, my kitty cat don't faint. It don't hardly, it don't never stink. I said hardly ever stink. It don't. Anybody else be like that? I guess because I don't keep no hair down now. You see? Like real talk. Always some preferred. Like hair. So she went straight to talking about her cuda cat. So dumb. And she. <laughs> all right. And she's sitting there with 22 bottles of beer on the wall. She going to tell us her cuda cat never stank. Cause that thing shave, my baby. Yeah, boom shakalaka. Huh? That shave kuda kata. In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? Huh? <laughs> One day y'all all gonna get on this train. Y'all gonna stop calling her Diamond, and y'all gonna call this entity by its appropriate name, the Braca. All right. You gotta, you gotta put that the Vatican twang on it. This is the Braca, like you talking to the Pope, like Pope. Pope Francis, help me with the Braca. Bring all your priests, even the horny ones. Bring them all. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's her and all her glory, man. She is still up to her same tricks, you know. Blonde hair. She over here drinking that Corona. And her little nighty. She keep propping her legs up, talking about her cuticata don't stink. I could throw up on myself. Kim. I love you too, baby. Hello, Kim Parker. A oh, daddy Mac can make you jump. Oh, hell. All right. <laughs> Everybody over there jumping on the trampoline except for you. Look at me. Miracle jumping crazy. All you see is her hair going up in the air. You can see fire on my feet. I'm telling you. And you got how many thousand miracles? Um, 27. Yeah, America got the money. Thank like jump a long time. Not, it ain't going to take. Is it because I. <laughs> <laughs> so that's them. They spend their last days in that hotel. They got their house, you know, and for all is worth, you know, God bless them children. For all Diamond been dragging these kids from state to state to state, from like St. Louis to Atlanta to New York to Alabama. She dragging them all over the country, and somehow these kids are still in good spirits. So I pray that DeBrocco don't break them and they can leave her nest with their sanity intact. That's that's all. We hopeful for the babies. <laughs> uh, ain't looking good though. The environments. Yeah, and how these kids don't fare with everybody up in the pole. These kids see that. Kids are so nosy. She, I know, got kids. They nosy. They are aware of everything. We know we were. Come on now. All y'all in the chat, y'all remember being a kid. If y'all mama was the Braca, y'all would be very much aware of all the buffoonery and nego tree that's going on. Them kids know, and they in trouble. That blonde hair. Man, listen here. All my dark skinned sisters, it, it don't behoove you to, to dye your hair blonde trying to get any kind of desired outcome. Just don't. Don't do it. Look wild as heck. You know, <laughs> they in the movie, they had a character. He was dark skinned with blonde hair. There's a movie, I think it was a Demolition Man. It was Wesley Snipes. <laughs> and he was some intergalactic criminal or something. <laughs> like, don't do it. He looked wild. Looked like rogue warriors. Starts to return. The man begins playing with the dog. As the woman starts coming upstairs, the man has to come Oh boy. Dreams are made of All right, Dad's gonna give us another drop. He's been singing her song for like a week. 
for some reason. Some of them wants to use you. Some of them wants to be by yeah. you. Some of them wants to use you. Some of them wants to be by you. She messed the words all up. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to deserve? It's all green. I'm the world in seven years. Everybody looking, looking for, for something. Not that. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to be by you. Some of them wants to use you. Some of them wants to be by you. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to deserve it? Travel the world in seven seas. Everybody looking for diamonds. Everybody looking for diamonds. Play it, babe. Play it, play it all the way. <gasps> play it, babe. Sweet dreams are made of. All right. They done threw the uh, instrumental on. We ain't, we can't do that, Dom. So, all right, man, we getting out of here tonight. We done went down the rabbit hole. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. But, uh, Dom, I got to go check it out. We need more drops, Dom. I'm going to go <laughs> check it out. <laughs> damn. Big damn. Shout out to the exorcisms of the past. We used to be up here. We used to be trying to. Uh, perform exorcisms on the blocker for hours at a time. Never successful. She turned right back around. She under she an undefeated beast. Undefeated. Do y'all want Dom back up here? Let us know in the chat. The thing is, we don't know what exactly. You know, obviously this is a single by choices. We do a lot of mating and dating stuff, so don't know exactly. You know, we can talk to her about her date in life, but I don't know. There I see Joker Night Nate. Yeah. We working on it. We gonna get Dom back up here, Tracy Ann. We are gonna get her back. He gonna say Dom and Mucho. Mucho is too hard for Mucho. Yeah. Mucho is like a damn Loch Ness monster. It's, yeah. You know. And Mucho will renege. Yeah. Mucho asks for bread. You'll give her bread, and then she just ghost you and say, "Shut well, up." She didn't come. She just going to Mucho. Gonna say something wild. Like, give me a thousand dollars for five minutes. You know, and ain't nobody playing with Mucho. So. <laughs> Yeah, she'd say something wild. I already know. There we so. go. Who DeBrocka? Last time DeBrocka was up here over a year ago, she said that you know we weren't going nowhere. She said they tried. Yeah, she tried to get our channel shut down. She thought it was. That's my thing. Last time DeBrocka said anything about Carl before the horse singing by choices, she was under the impression that our channel got shut down. So I wonder if she was. Well, last video she made, she said if we ever brought her back up, she's gonna show her kuda on uh, camera. So that. there's she that. So we'll have to talk about that, Diamond. We definitely gotta we definitely gotta discuss. Last time you left off our platform, you said if we bring you back up, you're gonna pull your kuda out on camera. She I don't did. like I don't like that, Diamond. Not one bit. Not one bit. Nope, she did say that. So there you go. We can't act like she didn't show her hand. She definitely said that with her vindictive. Evil self. So, but we're gonna try to get her back up here. She just gotta be fully clothed. She gotta have like a onesie on, something zipped up. She can't get out too easy. So, a straight jacket. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Boom, so, there you, go. there you go. That would be that would be who her. Let we we ship her a straight jacket. But look, it's for the production. Put the straight jacket on. Come on camera so people know who we're dealing with. Like Hannibal Lecter. Like straight jacket. You know, the face mask, all that. So here we go. Shout out to Skinny Boy. He said, miss my super chat. Uh-oh. Which one? We got this one. That was the last one you one. sent, Skinny Boy. Got that one. So here if you talk about this, I want to- No, we didn't. We, did. we didn't get that one. We didn't get that one. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, fellas. Lizno or Finger Wave Wanda? Well, Lizno won one. Uh, finger Wave. Uh, listen here. <laughs> tough. That's tough. 
both of them. How about that? <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, it's two of them with that Liz No on there. Uh-huh. So, thought we got it. Shout out to Mr. Wilson. Appreciate you. Says, Mr. Gavin, you never been with a 300-pound woman? No, not 300. That's big. Yeah, 300. No, not that I can write. Yeah, no, not no that can recollect. <laughs> yeah, you have to go back to the archives. When I was a younger man, I can't even remember them times. So three for the hundo, not no three hundred. Yeah, hell no. I was almost. Uh, now I was almost kidnapped by a three hundred pound woman. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I was out in college. You know, night of drinking, and I was trying to get a ride home. And it's just like, hey, I'll give you a ride home. And I remember she had like a two-door, like, cobalt or whatever, Sunfire or something. And I'm like, all right, I just need a ride home. So I got in the back of the car, and and I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm drunk, <laughs> all right? So I'm in the back of the car. She's driving, but I can hear. And I'm like, yeah, take me to the dorm. And she was like, no, she's like, no, take us home. And I heard it. And so we got to a red light. We stopped. And and I waited and I grabbed the lever on the side and I pushed the seat up and I opened the door and I jumped out the car and ran home to safety. So I almost got kidnapped by Bonquisha. That's real rap. I had to run home. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, the answer is no, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Shout out to Frederick Howard. Said, Mr. Brock Monroe, watch your mouth. <laughs> watch your mouth, digging pot. That <laughs> appreciate you, El Castigador. Says, can you unsmoke that crack? No, you can't do ish like that. Can't unsmoke the crack. <laughs> Shout out to Damon. Come to the five dollars. Said, just got home, showing love for the plate. Salute, SBC family. Salute, brother. Shout out to Mature 1958. Come through. Says, no diamond, no debraca. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna get out of here tonight. We appreciate y'all for kicking it with us. Shout out to everybody who hit the super chat. Drop in the link for the single by choice channel in the chat for all the people who are not subscribed. Head over, check out last night's show. <laughs> who the F married this woman here? Um, it was a hell of a show. Shout out to Crystal and Tyranny for coming up. So head over, check it out because it was a classic. Yes, it was. And Messy Tessie and I started a whole diabolical movement. Now, all of these baby moms talking about, who did I have a baby by? Look at my baby daddy. Look at the narcissist. (laughs) Also, shout out to the show sponsors, Natty Leo, Bobby Vegas, Q What It Do, and Desi Boy. There we go. You jab turkeys, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't, it's blasphemy. Hit the subscribe button. On your way up out of here. Appreciate y'all supporting y'all interests all night long. Please don't hesitate to continue to do so. Hit that cash app. Hit that super chat. Go ahead. Check out some of our flag exclusive merch over at the store. And if you want them exclusive faux sachet joints, you got to jump in the email and get it going there. So there you go. We'll be back up here Tuesday. We should. All right. So set your notifications. We'll see what the Kendra Madness is like tomorrow, and we'll go from there. But in the meantime, head over to the Cart Foot Horse channel. Make sure you catch the Regal Rumble from last night because it was another classic per usual. <laughs> yes, it was. Tyranny was tyranning, and it was going to <laughs> So until next time, I am Gavin X. I am Mr. Walker. And we are Cart Foot Horse Productions. Good morning. <laughs>